Hey there everybody, how's it going tonight? Yo, it's me, your girl Digi Doggy, your favorite dog-shaped robot corgi girl. We're gonna be getting started in about five minutes, but I just wanted to let you guys know it's gonna take me just a couple seconds on the back end here. I have a couple of technical issues that I need to stomp out real quick. Oh, thank you for the head pads. We'll be getting started real soon, everybody. I'm so happy to see you all. Just might take a few minutes for me to get it fully going here. Be back soon, everybody. We'll be getting started with community night before you know it.
Hey, welcome in everybody. It's me, DigiDoggy, your favorite dog-shaped robot corgi girl. Hope you guys are doing lovely on this wonderful Saturday evening. We are going to be having a fun community night tonight. Everybody gets to request a game. You get to request a game. You get to request a game. We're all going to get to request a game. Well, until I run out of steam anyway. Maybe, maybe not everybody, but we'll have a good time together, that's for sure. <laughs> Wahoo! That's right. Hello, hello, everybody. How's it going tonight? How you doing? How you been? When do requests open? Wait a minute, silly. We'll get there. We'll get there. We're just getting started. We gotta say hello to everybody first. Not, not gonna have people fighting over the slots just yet. Let's actually just chill and relax together before we get all crazy about picking out games, silly. But hello everybody, how's your weekend going? Happy New Year! Can't believe it's been a whole week of 2024 already. Wow, thanks for stopping in on my mega multi-midnight marathon last weekend. I know I was supposed to stream last night, I'm really sorry about that. I am having the... The year already, let's let's just put it that way. My day job is shorthanded by five people. So for that, I am paying because now I'm the most reliable doggy and I get to go fill in for everybody else's responsibilities. So I got home late yesterday and I wanted to stream, but then I laid down for like five minutes and I fell asleep. So I think it was necessary. I think I think I just needed a break there. One week already. Christmas feels right around the corner. That's right. That's right, Will Rogers. Also, hi everybody. How's everybody doing? Hey, Will Rogers. Hey, Doom Guy. Hi, Va Vinyl Fan ninety one. Hello, Ella's Real nineteen ninety six. Hey, Hexadecimator. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. It's so good to see you. Hey Van the Trash Puppy, hey Nemesis Warlock. Oh, Sarlik, thank you so much for that resub. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's been 11 months already. Wow, almost a year lives Sarlik, Derg. Thank you, thank you. That's so cool. How are you doing tonight, Sarlik? I hope you're doing wonderful. We're gonna be getting started with our Mr. Request Night soon, but I wanted to just kind of, kind of vibe with people for a little bit first. Uh, kind of get warmed up. I have to admit, I spent most of the day just kind of delirious. It was a day. I, I was still sore from yesterday. Greetings. Hey, Flaw. Hey, Nova Alpha 28. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well tonight. Hey, hope I'm doing well. I am having the week ever. We'll put it that way. I, I am doing my best. But despite being a little bit worn out, Oh, thank you for the bits. Oh my goodness. Thank you for those four bits. Wait, that's that's not four. Come on. Four bits. There we go. Wow. Good job, hand processors. Bird up. Oh, I'll take the birds too. Thank you for the birds. How is everybody doing? You're doing well. What about me? I am so tired. I am so tired, but that's okay because it's going to be chill tonight. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a great time. We're gonna bark bark with Bill Sid the science kid there. I see those Ash canine emotes. We like Ash. We like Ash. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna throw her a shout out, actually. Ash canine is a cool hellhound type creature who stays up super late playing games. So you should definitely go check her out. She's very cool. You went to New York City with your sister and your cousin today. Ooh, that sounds really fun. How was that? What did you get up to? Did you see- did you go to the Ghostbusters firehouse? Did you get the glizzy? Tell us all about it. You've been sick all year. Oh, Meryl, I hope you get better soon. Seems like everybody's getting sick lately. That's- ooh. Make sure to mask up, everybody. COVID is it the worst it's ever been. You got Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. And started getting mad points right out the gate? Hell yes! Oh, you got the Digi doggy. Hey, Digi bunny. Oh, Momentai. How's it going? Let me let me shout you out. 
if I can. Digibunny is a cool, cool Digimon with a fun vibe. You should check them out. I'm not allowed to shout you out yet. Give me 55 seconds. Soon. Soon.jpg. You went to the Harry Potter exhibition because your sister wanted to, and then you checked out Times Square. Did you get shaken down by a scary Elmo that wanted to get a photo with you? You're finally done retoppoing your newest sculpt. Heck yeah. Also, hi, D. Hello. You hope my weekend is going well? I mean, I spent most of it kind of like flat in bed today, so that's probably a good weekend, sort of. Good evening, corgi 4 zn Good to see ya. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining us. There were weird costume people. Ah, that, that tends to be the case with Times Square. Yep, that, that sounds about right. Oh, I just realized I'm having a pointless hit on my performance that I'm going to get rid of. Ah. There. I don't know if that makes a difference for... Well, up oh, there we go. I don't know if that makes a difference for you guys, but I think it made a difference for me. This is cool. This is cool. Guys, can you believe it? I'm going to Japan so soon. I... It's... It's... Oh my goodness. It's a month and ten days away. And my birthday is... Ah! Less than a month away. It's, it's February 4th. Oh my goodness. Oh my gracious. What are we gonna do, chat? I have to beat Yakuza 0 before we go, and that... That... Wow, that's gonna be a big one. <laughs> Wait, what is this? What is this? What is this? What are you saying at me, Mitch? Hold on. Activating translation matrix. Oh, Japan. It, sh it says Nihon. I should have. I can't read any Japanese yet. I can only slightly speak it. February birthday. No wonder I'm cool. Aww. Are you also a February a February birthday there, Van? Nihon doggy. I'm gonna play the Metal Gear Pachinko machine if I can find it. Oh, 17th? Oh no, I leave a day before your birthday. I can't I can't wish you a happy birthday on the day of, probably, but happy early birthday. Also, thank you for the headpads, Fascinator. Your birthday is 9-11. 9-11? Whoa. That must have been a very entertaining thing when you were growing up. And by entertaining, I mean annoying. 95? Wow! Mitch Zero confirmed for Millennial. Wow, wow, Ewo. Your birthday is one of the funny numbers. Are you born on 420? Are you born on 690? Whoa! I didn't know. We unlocked the secret months for Ompuko. Ninth day of the sixth month? I mean, if it's European style, that's funny. Wait. Backwards. Last time you were, at uh, you were in Japan, you did a big karaoke bar hop with some locals. Oh, wow. That must have been very cool. I have never been to Japan, and I'm a little bit intimidated by the process of going. Especially the 11-hour plane flight. That part is going to be... <laughs> but uh, we'll get there. We'll, we'll literally get there, one way or another. Uh, I heard today that I can get some compression socks, and that'll help make the plane flight a little better, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, you wanna try the Fami Chicky? I wanna try the Fami Chicky too. I really wanna- I wanna try Fami Chicky so much. And I wanna try Nana Chicky over at the, uh, the 7-Eleven, which is supposed to be, like, its competitor. It's a lot of treats to eat for 11 hours. Gosh, I really- I need to get- I need to get some snack situation figured out for the plane, but I don't know what I can do for that because, you know, like, they'll, they'll rifle through my stuff and take things away, won't they? I mean, I guess if it's sealed, but I don't know if it's different for international stuff. Do a 24-hour doggy stream before the flight and sleep the whole way? I'm really tempted. I might, I might take some extra days off. I don't know. We'll see. Methodical Fox is going to be in town because I'm flying out with Methodical Fox. So I don't want to just like ignore him for the whole like 24 hours before we fly out. But I do want to spend some time with you guys before before I have to go away for a little bit. A friend of yours told you that Tokyo is basically a clean version of New York? Huh. 
You know, I've been to 28 different United States states, but I've never been to New York City. Ever. Don't do a 24-hour stream before being tired at the airport as hell. I think I'm going to be tired either way, but yeah, probably not the actual day before. That seems like a bad time. I'm also, uh, I'm going to send my main streaming computer away for service while I'm in Japan because it makes the most sense to do it then rather than some other time. So it may actually be in my best interest to, uh, just sort of take it easy for the few days before I fly out. But I will at least be streaming the weekend before. You better believe it. New York City is alright. It's big though and a lot of walking. Oh, I don't mind walking. I'm good at that. Uh, and I'm, I don't mind big. So that, that doesn't sound too bad. Plus any place with a good public transit network. It's only as big as, as you need it to be, you know? You can always just sit down on a train or whatever and catch your breath. Gotta be at my best in case they pull some BS on me. Oh. Do you think they're gonna do that? Oh, at the airport, you mean? Yeah, well... I think I'll be okay. I'm being really careful, but I do need to start thinking about everything that I'm packing. I'm, I'm a little bit... Whoa, about that, too. That's, uh, that's a lot to think about. It really is. Chat, what would you do if you were in Japan? Have you ever thought about going into Japan? What's the number one thing that you would want to do while you're there? Because I'll be real with you guys. I don't have much of an itinerary set up yet. Digi doggy packing heat. Not in Japan. Not in Japan. <laughs> that's, that's not allowed. You want to go to Akihabara and look at the cool shops? Oh, I'll definitely do that. I would be, I would be silly if I didn't do that. You want to do some hiking in Japan? Ooh, that would be pretty good. That would be really pretty. You don't actually know? You want to see if you can find some arcade games? Oh, game centers, there is no shortage of those. That is definitely something that you can do in Japan. You go broke at the 7-Eleven in the game shops. I will admit, I'm really looking forward to Japanese 7-Eleven. Hey, good evening, Alice and Kit. How you doing tonight? How you been? Oh, the Fuji Speedway. Fuji Speedway? Tell me about that. Are there races? What kind of races are they doing at the Fuji Speedway? They got Japanese NASCAR? They got Mario Kart? I, I don't actually know what's popular for racing in Japan. I know there are people that do a lot of racing in Japan. Hold up. I'm gonna do a thingy here. Do, do, do. Oh boy, I sure hope you guys can't Finally see that home. or hear that. Finally got home. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jimmy McThickus, for that resub. Oh my goodness, 11 months with Jimmy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And visit a Mado Cafe. Gotta be careful about that one, Toastline. That's that can be dangerous. You can you can get bamboozled into spending a lot of money. You want to see the Zao Fox Village in Shiroishi? Ooh, is that the place with all the tons and tons of foxes just going ah everywhere? I've seen videos of that. That does look pretty fun, but also a little overwhelming. I bet it smells like fox piss. Although there's some people that are into that. We're not kink shaving comrades. That is that is not doggy's thing. Yes, one moment. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a fun thing here. Ah, I deserve the salt. I deserve the salt. That's gonna be all the ramen that I'm eating over there. Thanks for the salt, Permanent Band 3. You'd be interested to see foxies? That is a lot of foxies, but I mean, it's either that or going and seeing the Sika deer in Nara. You just thought about taking stock cars to Fuji? That would end badly? Oh. No NASCAR because these tracks have turns? Wait, what? But NASCAR turns left like four times per track. Wait, we, we've all seen it, right? They go left, and then they go left, and then they go left, and then they go left. It's pretty cool. Eating matcha in Kyoto, that's a pretty good one. I want to see the big Gundam. I feel like I have to go see the big Gundam. Gundam isn't even my favorite mecha series, really. It's just pretty alright, but like, you can't... I... I'm a mecha doggy, look. Like, it literally says mech pilot right here, like... I kind of have to. 
I kind of have to go see the giant mech. Even if it's not my favorite type or whatever. If I don't see the Gundam, people are going to yell at me. They're going to be like, Doggy, why? Doggy, why? So yeah, I'm going to, I have a little preview of a thing. This is, this is just a little template. It's not that cool. Not that cool, but. If I can set it up, give me just a moment here. Yes, okay. Yes, I'm so good at doing things on the fly, chat. Can you tell? Okay, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys real quick. What else? Retro game centers. Oh, you know it. Oh, mech pilot doggy. Hey, Nova Alpha. Sure thing, I can do that. It's been a while since I've been a mech pilot doggy. Let's see. Now, this is a pretty old mech pilot doggy. Can be a little bit scuffed in certain ways, but I th still think she looks amazing. Pine Tree Noodle is so good. I think it's this- wait, no, wait, crap. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. Alright, we'll load it up. There we go. Now I'll fix my skeleton so I don't look all weird. Battle mech Freya. She's mech certified, allegedly. She can definitely pilot things from 20 to 100 tons and will not crash into your hangar on the way. For sure. For sure. Trust me, chat. You would trust me with that, with that giant, giant 35 ton mech, right? I look trustworthy. Oh wow, I'm double, I'm double, I'm double outlined. There we go. I look neat as a mech pilot? Thank you. Wait a minute, this is Star Fox mech pilot. Let me fix that. This is the alternate skin. What the heck, Goopo? There we go. That's my proper, my proper mech pilot skin. And yes, I really like this avatar. Pine Tree Noodle. This is one of the first like alternate outfits that she made for my older version of my avatar. She did so good. She's she's really, really good. And she's only been growing so much in skill since then. Chat, you should commission her. Also, I'm thinking about setting up a goal that would be specifically donations to Pine Tree Noodle. And if we hit certain milestones, she'll make me new outfits. And then we can have more fun. Jesse Cloudtail, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate that. Oh, I like those cute those cute emotes. I hope you're doing well tonight. Alright, so let me see here. Let me see. I was gonna show you guys something and then I forgot. Oh right, 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 right. Right, right, right. Right, 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 right. Ah wow woo woo woo. Let me see if I can find it. So, like I was saying, I'm going to Japan soon. I'm very excited about this. But I'm going to try to, since I cannot stream uh, during that time in Japan, because it's going to be a 17-hour time gap, which is a lot, uh, instead, we're going to have little digi shorts, hopefully. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take some videos and stuff like that, and you'll get to see what I'm up to in Japan. It'll be so cool. It'll be very digi doggers. So, here's my early prototype of the intro for those hopefully uh hopefully wow becoming a tiktok influencer oh god am i that's ugh. i'm not sure i want that i don't oh why is it huge gosh darn it we where to go oh my goodness all right fine we'll do it the we'll do it this way Transform. Center to screen. Please work. Oh, okay. There it is. That's not what I told it to do. We'll do it one more time. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Can you tell I'm not very good at this tonight? I had to have a painkiller earlier. But yeah, this is the intro. This will be the thing. It'll be so cool. 
But yes, we'll we'll have lots of fun. And hopefully I'll be able to at least keep, keep in touch with you guys. You won't forget about me, right? While I'm in Japan? I'd be so sad. People forget about Doggy. Come back and everybody's like, who's Freya? Don't get scammed by Super Potato. Yeah, I know better than that. Super Potato is for tourists. And I mean, I will be a tourist, but I know better. They really jack up their prices. No, I'll be... So the thing is, I'm not even staying in Tokyo. I'm going to be staying in Yokosuka, which is... Well, it's about two hours south of Tokyo proper. But it's also where Shinmu takes place. So there's a lot of... Uh, because it's where a U.S. Navy base is, there's a lot of stuff for Americans there. So it'll be like baby style and I can get a burger or whatever before I hop on the train and go go to Tokyo proper and start looking for game centers and things like that. If I'm able to get to game center Mikado, that would be cool though. Wait, where's that? I'd like to know more. Tell me more. I need to know, chat. Give me the data. And play one of those darn EXA machines. EXA? What that? I don't- I don't have any data on EXA machine. Wait, I have power of Google! What is an EXA machine? Well, that doesn't help at all! This is- this is a box. I don't- I don't know. I, uh, I have to- Oh, it's in 4 Chome 510 Takadano- Takadano Baba, Shinjuku City, Tokyo. Oh, well, I will be going to Shinjuku. At least a little bit. X Arcadia thing with the super overpriced gimmick remake. Oh, I X Arcadia. Hold on. What is this? W what am I looking at? I. Huh? Huh? I don't- I- I'm not sure what I'm looking at here, but I'm really curious about it. Tell me more about this, Connor, while I set up the mister. We'll go ahead and get our, uh, our requests going soon here. Nanika? Alright, so I'm gonna go in my little corner here, and I'll go ahead and start up the mister. Chat! The mister has been upgraded with wireless functionality. I don't know if you guys remember the last time that I did this, but I had a lot of trouble doing it smoothly. Now, if I'm missing a game, I can upload it remotely, and I can start them remotely too. So, it'll be way faster and easier for me to get to your requests. It's gonna be great. Hey, Taylor the Rat, how's it going, gamer? Welcome in, good to see ya. Hope you're doing well tonight. Oh, EXA is basically a modern-day Neo Geo in that it's stupidly overpriced and has a ton of exclusive games. And the owner of that brand let, refuses to let anyone dump the games or sell the soundtracks or exclusive content elsewhere. Oh, sheesh. Wow. That does sound very Neo Geo. Golly. I, I will have to see if I can find that, just out of pure curiosity. Well... Uh, it seems that I'm pulsating weirdly. Something is going on with Mech Pilot Freya. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back. Let's go ahead and be- be normal again. And we'll get started with our selection. I need to hydrate so bad though, chat. Oh my goodness. I have made some mistakes. Okay. Let me get a drink. Really quickly. Hi, Dura Soup. Hello. How's it going? Hey Dora, hey Taylor, I hope you're doing well tonight. Give me just a minute, I'm gonna get a drinky, and we'll get started with our requests for the evening.
All right, chat, thanks for waiting. Uh, I'm going to crack open this compartment on my chest that is definitely nothing else. This is a compartment on my chest. See, chat? Yes, that is, that's what it sounds like when you open the doggy or something. OMG, normal digi. Yep, that's me. Thanks for the extra ram there, Taylor. Okay, chat. <laughs> Did I practice that? No. <laughs> Uh, but yes, here we go. Um, all right, so I admit my presentation is not where it should be tonight because I had a painkiller. I had a leftover painkiller from when I had surgery last year. And I'm a little bit loopy, but let's do it with some Mr. Requests, everybody. So for people who haven't done this before, the Mr. can do basically any console and many old computers up to the fifth generation of consoles. That includes now, and never before on DigiDoggy, the Nintendo 64. We can play the Nintendo 64 on this thing now. It's so cool. So, you guys can request PlayStation, Nintendo 64, Sega Genesis, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, uh, TurboGrafx-16, Neo Geo, like the list, it, it just goes on and on. And now, I can pull them up really quickly. OMG, play Mega Man Legends. Okay. <laughs> I have a shortcut to it on the menu. But yes, that's what we were playing Mega Man Legends on over the New Year's Mega Multi Midnight Marathon. Which, I still want to finish that game. I know I was going to finish it last night. I'm sorry I couldn't get to it last night. I was very dead. But we will be going back to that soon. Ah, there's no Dreamcast on here, unfortunately. That is kind of the limit. But we do have all of these consoles that you can see here. That's a whole bunch of them. I think Shadow Man has an N64 port? Oh, geez. Uh, no, it can't do 3DO yet. No 3DO yet, as far as I'm aware. Greetings. Greetings! Hey, Ash Graytree. Good to see ya. How you doing? How you been? I'm gonna go ahead, chat. Alright, so in the future, I'm gonna have to start doing this through a roulette system because you guys are feverish. But I'm gonna go ahead and begin opening up for requests. Okay? Don't all mob this at once, chat. I will, I will become overwhelmed. I will cry. Please don't make DigiDoggy cry. Request Game Redeem is now open. Spelunker for the NES and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4. Turtles in Time. Okay, it looks like Hexadecimeter got in there first. Let's begin opening up the list. I said opening up the list, damn it, there it is. Cruising USA. Oh, it's okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, chat, slow it down. We got plenty of time for everybody. You have to use the redeem though, so I can see it in the request queue and keep up with it. Oh, whatever makes DigiDoggy happy. Oh, DigiBunny, you're sweet, thank you. All right. Let me go ahead and look through these. Remember, it doesn't count unless you use the redeem. Oh my gosh, there's so many. All right, hexadecimeter is first. Okay, Turtles in Time. And then we have After Hexadecimeter. My goodness, guys. All right, be sure. Remember, don't request unless you're planning on being here for it because they're going to be in 15 minute intervals and I'll have to skip you and ask for you to try again later. But I will do my best to breach as many of these as I can. No, 15, one, five. Okay, Spelunker, NES for SFG Connor. Hey, we're rolling down the list. Let's see. Durasuit wants Glover. 
And let's see. <laughs> Nova Alpha wants Mega Man Legends. Okay. You guys are just gonna request Mega Man Legends. I'm gonna finish the whole game in little intervals, aren't I? We're gonna we're gonna have an inter impromptu Mega Man Legends stream. Let's see, Cruising USA. All right, guys, I'm gonna limit it to ten for now. Road Rash, Genesis. Digi Bunny. Oh wait, I need to put the. Oh my goodness, sorry. Wow, you guys were really ready. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay, there we go. All right, did you bunny van get NES Ninja Gaiden? All right, and Kishardin with Captain Skyhawk for the NES. And then we're gonna have Coderman. Unfortunately, I do not have Tyrion. That's a great idea. That is a great idea, but I do not have that capability. However, since you did do the redeem, you're welcome to supply an alternate option. Yeah, I, I know I ha we're doing specifically Mr. Tonight though, Skeletor, so you silly. Specifically Skeletor, so, I mean, specifically Mr. Uh, Gran Turismo 1. I think I can do that. That will be our final for for now. Uh, so Coderman actually will have the... Uh, all right, we'll do 11 then. Okay, so Doom Guy gets the, the final redeem for now. If we still have more later, we'll, we'll, we'll reopen them. Oh, Metal Slug 2? Sure, I can do that. Wow, I'm surprised that Troublesome Taffer isn't here requesting Metal Slug. Alright guys, I'm going to close the redeems for now for the requests. And we will reopen them if time permits. I want to make sure that I can do as many of these as I can. If somebody gets skipped because they are not here, I will skip to the next one. And we might get to you sooner, so keep checking even if you wanted to do something and your name isn't on the list right now. But first, we're going to start with Turtles in Time. So I'm going to use the super cool search functionality and skip the menu entirely for this. Turtles. Should just auto launch here. Wait, Turtles in Time? Isn't that the uh, arcade one? That might work or it might be funny. Oh yeah, Super Nintendo. There we go. Launching them toitles. All right, chat. I'm going to make the mister go over to the snack adapter so I can use my original Super Nintendo controller. The request redeem is done for the moment, Skeletor, so don't worry. We'll reopen them in a bit. Let me know if the game is blotting me out or anything. Ah, uh, Skeletor, so you know what? I'll, I'll squeak you in there. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. What was your game? We can make a little exception for Skeletor, so. Cyberdyne Warrior for Commodore 64? I'm not sure I can make the C64 behave right now. Uh, but we'll see. We can give it a shot. Usually the C64 core is a little bit more of a pain in the butt. Did I miss you, Vinyl? Oh shoot, I'm sorry. Let me see. Did you use the, the Redeem? I'm looking through it. Let me see here. I don't see a 
it in the redeem queue here. I think you might have just been saying it in the chat. Let me uh, let me look through my advanced thingy here. Nope, I don't see it. Uh, I'm sorry about that, but when we reopen the requests, you are more than welcome to resubmit it, and we'll do our best to play as many games as we can tonight. All right, so let me uh, let me set this thing up here. There we go, now we have our Super Nintendo crop ready to go. And I've gotta just... I'm gonna get bothered by this, it's gonna go away for now. And... We will get our timer going. Alright, 15 minutes are on the clock. Is Nope, no need to subscribe to Redeem. We did close the Redeem for the moment so that I can uh, take care of business. Oh, perfect dart for N64. That'll be an interesting one to try out. We'll see if that actually plays well on the N64 core. Yeah, I'll switch that over for you. But yeah, no worries. We, we, we will reopen the redeem when we get through the queue. But just give me a second. I'm going to plug in my Super Nintendo controller into the mister and we will start our timer. Alright, now I can use my snacks adapter to simply use my original Super Nintendo controller, which will be so nice and cool. I know that the uh, UI isn't quite ideal for this, but that's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. I just want to get started. Let's have some fun together, everybody. 15 minutes are supposed to be on the clock. Gosh darn it. There we go. All right, let's do it. All right, Super Nintendo controller engaged. Let's have some fun. Ooh. You know, I'm super basic. I always go with the one with the sword or the stick. Hey Shredder, bring that statue back, you bloated bean bag. Big Apple, 3 a.m. 3 a.m., huh? I don't think I'd want to be out at 3 a.m. in the Big Apple. Wait, I was just commenting to my roommate the other day. Do Does anybody even call it the Big Apple anymore? I haven't heard anybody call New York City the Big Apple in a long time. I feel like that's- that's- we don't do that anymore. I mean, think about it. How many times have you actually- JC! Why are you on Discord? It's 2 a.m. in your time zone. No, JC! It's 7 p.m. Come on, get it together. I love a good beat-em-up. You'll never believe what happened at 3 a.m. Emotional turtle power. Ah! I got squanched. Aren't there like specials in this? Ah, thanks for the salt, Nova Alpha. I'm a well seasoned doggy. Oh wow, you can you can jump kick really fast, that's for sure. We had a big apple donut at the Krispy Kreme in the Times Square. That sounds really good, I want that. Ooh! Slavic Bear, thank you so much for the resub. Oh my goodness. Big Apple, 3 a.m. Oh, hey Slavic Bear. So good to see ya. How's it going? How's it been? You guys should definitely go check out Real Slavic Bear. Very cool vibes, very wonderful, neat layout, 
friendly VTuber, and also a Payday 3 dev. Really cool stuff. Ah! Thanks for the balls, Skeletorso and Ash. How's gaming? Oh, pretty good so far, Slavic Bear. Uh, we are just getting started with our Mr. Request Night, so we are pushing the Mr. FPGA through its paces and uh, seeing what it can do. And it's uh, it's been really fun so far. I mean, this is the first request of the evening, so you know. But uh, yeah, how's how's it been? How you doing? Why did I do that? You have some voodoo donut shops there in Houston? Oh, I've been to voodoo donut, the one in Denver. It was pretty good. Uh, I don't know if maple bacon donuts are really my thing in particular. It wasn't bad, it was just like, cloyingly sweet. Oh, it's okay, Vinyl Fan. The redeem is turned off for the moment. It's only 25 points and it will come back when, when there's space in the queue. But for the moment, the redeem is turned off so that I can work through what we've got so that people don't end up waiting in line all evening and then being like, oh no, you didn't make it to my my thing. So if I can get through this first dozen games, we will reopen. Yeah, sorry about the confusion there. Oh, shell shock. Shell shock. Wow, I just wasted that pizza by picking it up right after I died. Hey, I didn't know any people that lived down the street that worked on AAA games. That's not true. They lived in another neighborhood. But yes, I mean, I, I did know somebody that worked on Halo Infinite. Terminate the turtles! That's what that guy sounds like, right? I don't actually remember much of anything about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Apparently, my folks say that I liked it when I was really little, but I've never, I don't know. I've never really been super into turtles. I mean, it's a cool vibe. No, no shade against it. It's just never been my thing. You know somebody working on the Fallout TV show. I'm, I'm so sorry. Did I see, what did I see? You only know a guy who wrote the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. Honestly, that's really cool. Did I see Mutant Mayhem? What's that? The latest Turtles movie is really good. Oh, I didn't know that. I have to, I have to say I have not seen many movies in the past few years. I saw Barbie. I saw Barbie like right before I went to get surgery. And that was like one of the last things I remember doing before that. Uh, what else did I see? I saw everything everywhere all at once. That was a really, really good one. You think they're going to use radioactive, radioactive. You, you really think they're going to go for it? Emerald Sundisk, welcome. Hello. Thank you for joining us tonight. Oh, they're going to do it. You know they're not going to be able to resist the Temptation Emerald. You know that Fallout show is going to be an absolute train wreck. No shade to anybody that's working on it. I understand that there's a lot of people that work very hard on things that still end up being not very good. But also, uh, wow. It's the low, it's the low hanging fruit. They're definitely going to do it. I'm surprised that they didn't use I don't want to set the world on fire. I'm surprised they didn't use that in the trailer, honestly. That took some restraint. Oh my god, the Halo TV show. Chat, I really want to get together in my Discord and watch the Halo show with you guys so that we can all just scream and get really upset about it. If they use any modern music in the Fallout show, you're disowning the franchise. They're going to use Badge of the Bone in the opening episode. They're going to be like, bah, 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 and you're going to be like, no, and that's going to be it. No, no, no. They're going to use, you dropped the bomb on me, baby. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. 
Oh, there's so many, though, that they could use. <laughs> I almost want them to use the modern music just because it would be funny as shit. Like, I have no love for Fallout anymore. I, I, I have thoroughly killed the Vault Dweller inside myself. Thanks, corporations, for that. But I could still enjoy a, a bad good game or a bad good show. Well, you know, a lot of people like the Warcraft movie there, Connor. The people said it was good. Anything that came out after the 40s is anachronistic and wrong. I agree with you, Coder Man. I, I do. But also, this is Bethesda Fallout. Like, there's there's nothing left. It's it's a hole. I'm sorry to all the Fallout enjoyers, but like Bethesda has done a really fantastic job of killing my enthusiasm for that setting. And basically they don't understand anything about it. So, you know, it'll it'll be fun. Just, uh, you know, if you do any drinking games, make sure you set yourself a limit. Because otherwise you might be in the hospital. God. Halo series drinking game where you take a drink every time the Master Chief takes off his helmet. You'd be dead by the end of season one. Congrats to Beth Esda. <laughs> yep, Halo show got greenlit for a second season somehow. Did you just want another Brotherhood of Steel game for maximum balls? Chat, I was thinking about it at the store, and I'm sad to say, I don't think Balls is going to get back to us about our sponsorship. I think I think we're going to have to start a, a letter writing campaign. We're going to have to like actually send them real physical letters. They might be dying. I have refused. I want to believe, chat. I think Balls is fine. Uh-oh. This is clutch or kick. Clutch or kick, doggy. Shit! Oh, chat! I got my quest three! I sure did. And, uh, well, turns out that my combination of very large round glasses and very poor natural vision means that my quest 3 is not quite viable for me to use for most things yet. But, my prescription lenses arrive on Monday, and then we'll be good to go. So, uh, very soon. But yeah, no, skill issue for sure. Wait, why is he doing- what? Oh, okay. It's okay though, I was able to get it set up at least, it's just very blurry for me still. My glasses are cute. Thank you. Yeah, no chat. I I don't I don't plan on doing a face reveal anytime soon, but I will say that I have the same glasses as my persona. So, uh that's a lot of glasses. I had to order them from Europe. Nobody in America makes glasses this big. Man, this game has non-stop bangers for soundtracks. Konami used to be on their shit when it came to chiptunes in the NES and SNES era. Oh, you like that field of vision? Yes, I do. I don't like seeing the frames of my glasses taking up most of my my face. I I used to so I used to have hipster glasses, like the you know the 2012 ass like rectangular plastic frames. I used to wear those for years and years and years. And then I realized, like, oh, wait, these are so out of fashion now. And I got the big round ones, and I was like, wait, I've been missing out on, like, a good solid 35 degrees of my field of view. Because my glasses frames were so chonky. I made the switch from rectangular to circular. Circular. Send you the type if you can. Okay, so Skeletorso, if you Google Polette, P-O-L-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, 
Uh, the glasses themselves are Coluche. C O L U C H E. Paulette Coluche. No, not Follette, just Paulette. Like Polnareff. Paulette Coluche. Oh, so close. There you go. Also, wow, the shock bots. Yeah, you killed me. It's okay. We'll try out the the this one. I think he's Leonardo. I think this one is Leonardo. Yeah, Darius, we're playing some Turtles in Time for the moment. I will go back to this one at some point, probably. I like beat em ups. They're they're fun to play with chat. But yeah, we're just vibing tonight. We're, we're flexing the Mr. FPGA, seeing what it can do. Turns out, it can do everything. How you doing? How you been? Whoa! I dive kicked him so hard he freaking exploded. Chad, did you see that Vine Saw's Vinny got banned? It's pretty messed up, isn't it? Yeah, he got banned for a week for implied nudity. Not real nudity, implied nudity. He watched an animation somebody made where there was a slime girl wearing a bra and panties. And then it cuts away to two other characters and her bra and panties fly over to hit those characters in the face. They didn't show anything. Nothing was shown. But they banned him for a week and then they brought it down to three days on appeal. Yep. So all those people that were grousing and saying, Twitch is basically a porn site now. Come on, guys. You got recommended a fully naked woman on the Twitch homepage earlier today. See, they just, they just need to enforce this consistently. They already had rules that were fine. This sucks. Everybody likes Vinny. Yeah, Vine Sauce. You know, the, the the guy that's been doing streams since before Twitch was a thing. No, no, no! That's the Digi Doggy Numbers Station! You're not supposed to see that. 4D, 3D, 3D, 3. Oh, speaking of 4D, 3D, 3D, 3, we have hit our time limit. So... Let's go ahead and finish up with Turtles in Time for now. And we'll go to a quick five minute break. And when we get back, we'll have some more Mr. Request Night. Everybody, we will see you very soon. Grab yourself a snack, grab yourself a drink, get yourself a nice little stretch break in. And before you know it, we'll be back together, hanging out, doing more requests. See you soon, everybody. in the numbers number one that's terror number two that's terror naturally
僕たちは伝説を超えるファミコン SD ガンダム初の RPG 登場ナイトガンダム物語Welcome back, everybody. I'm Digi Doggy, your favorite dog shaped robot, Corgi Girl. And wait, get out of here, King. Get out of here. Silly. Thank you so much for waiting during that break there. We're doing Mr. FPGA Request Night. Hope you guys are having a lot of fun so far. We are only on our second request, so I gotta step it up there, but. You know how it is, that first hour of the stream is mostly hangouts anyway. Hey, Dibboy787, thank you for the balls. So, chat, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna, ooh, can you request Star Fox Adventures? Now, that doesn't run on the mister, but I do want to play that at some point. Probably not tonight, though. You could request the Nintendo 64 version of Dinosaur Planet, and we could see if it runs, but I will say... With only 15 minutes for each game, I will say it's probably not a good idea to do anything that's too cutscene-y or like RPGs like that because we just won't get anywhere yet. But hey, Uncle Grumpus. Good, good. Hey, to see ya. I mean, wait, wait. Incorrect phrasing detected. Hey, hey. Good to see ya. That's what I meant. How you doing tonight? How you been? N64 Dinosaur Planet does run on the mister. Ooh. Ooh, that's really good. What if you want to request the same game as what somebody already requested? I mean, I guess we could do that. I'm not sure why we would do that, but we could. Let me see here. Let me go ahead and open up my queue back again. So here's the list of games that we have. And here's our timer. But before I get started with our list again, I want to show you guys. I'm going to try... I'm going to try a new kind of soda. Well, new to me. This is from Brazil. Be, 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 da, da, da. Okay, sorry. This isn't Richie Kupo's stream. This is Guarana Antarctica. Here, let me show you. Like that, right? So let's uh, let's open this up, and I want to see what this tastes like. Oh, God, it's fizzy. It, it's upset. Oh, shit. Oh, man, it got on me, but it's good. Uh, Okay, so I got a little preview there, getting it off of my fingers, but uh, let's see. Whoa! This is very similar to balls, but without that weird, like, sudden heart racing feeling. Wow. It's pretty good, actually. Also, hi, Merlin the Ninth Wiz. How you doing? How you been? We are trying a soda before I get back into the uh, the game. But now I need to, like, find a moist towelette and wash my hands or something. It's, it's sprayed all over me. The soda is aggressive. Soda! You're excited for creamy coconut Dr. Pepper. Well... You had me until coconut. I, I don't much care for coconut, but I hope you like it. Coconut's never quite been my thing. Well, this soda is pretty good. Thank you to my friend who brought me this. That was very cool of you. Thank you, Hale. Thank you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set the mister back up, but first I need to wash my hands real quick. <laughs> Sorry, chat. I'll be right back.
Wash your damn paws when you come out of the bathroom, you dirty doggies. All right, let's get to it, everybody. I think I already have the next game in the request list. Hey, Connor, are you ready? Hey, Connor. Yo, SFG Connor. Your request is up next, so let's see it. Oh boy, that, that, wow, that sure is Spelunker, all right. Wow, this is like Spelunky, but Spelunkery. Okay, let's go ahead and set us up for 15 minutes on the clock. I've never played this at all. This is, this is, oh! <laughs> it's an old game, all right, I know how these are. Okay, I get it, I get it. I see how this is gonna be. I see. Yeah, it's one of those. Wait, oh, you can't jump? Oh wait, I don't have the buttons. Wait, this is Richie Hoopa's worst game he ever played all of last year? Wow, really? Didn't Game Center CX do this like 20 years ago and Arino was able to beat it? Come on, Rich, get good. Oh, well, the timing on that was fortuitous. One of the famous Famicom Kusoge. Oh, it's Kusoge. I could have told you that just by looking at it. This is like Load Runner. Oh wait, it's by Broderbun. It's literally like Load Runner. Oh, Broderbun, you guys, you could have done better. You managed to beat three loops in a row as a kid. Are you a legend? Are you real? Wow, I did the same thing. What? Uh. <laughs> okay, that's... Ah, that's... Mm. This is a... Uh, that's a new level of height death. That's... Like, how do you progress there? I've definitely heard somebody make a song out of this. I was born with glass bones and paper skin. Every morning I break my legs and after every afternoon I break my arms. At night I lie awake in agony until my heart attacks put me to sleep. Oh yeah, that's the spelunker, all right. Man, this is what every British game was like in the 80s. This is what if you had a British like microcomputer, this is what you got. This is what video games were. And you loved it and you played shit like Magical World Dizzy and you traded you traded cassette tapes with each other on the playground. Ain't no Turk, and that's for sure. You have a request I might like. What's your request, Merlin? I can't put it on the list without a redeem, because that's that's how the rules work, but I'm curious. Bart! Yeah, trading tapes does some. What the fuck? What? What? What have I been wasting? Oh man, I'm gonna have to turn off the list for this. What am I- what is- There's more buttons to this than I thought. It's my air gun. I can shoot ghosts with it. He's got a welding gun. Down B is a bomb. Do at least the music is catchy. Oh, I don't- what is this? How am I supposed to- Yo, it's the Space Jays! Welcome in, Raiders! Thank you for joining us. Hope you're doing well tonight. We are playing the Mr. FPGA and having a community request night. Thank you, thank you for joining us. Hello, I am Digi Doggy, your favorite dog-shaped robot, Corgi Girl, and we're gonna try to blow up a ghost, and it didn't do anything. Ah! This is like Spelunky, except bad. 
Is that a tower of Hanoi? It looks like it, doesn't it? I... Crap. What were you getting up to there, Space Jace? Hello, hello. Let's get a shout out for the Space Jace here. Yes. Join us in giving the Space Jace a follow. Wow, I can't believe you put me through this, Connor. I can see why Rich would rate this as his worst Kusoge of 2023. Ghost is already dead? Yeah, that never stopped the Ghostbusters, though. Oh, for fuck's sake. Rich has you on a shit list? You just called him Kustinky? He is Kustinky, though. Oh, you're playing some Metal Gear Solid 2? Nice. How far did you get? Did you meet the president yet? Yeah, no worries, Space Jays. Thank you for stopping in with your community. I like how you can nudge the right button as you're starting the game and immediately lose our life. That's that's so cool. That's so digi doggers. Oh, I might as well die. I'm going to have a game over anyway. This is a bad game. This is... See, Connor gets it. Connor wants to see the doggy suffer. Connor, Connor knows that this is content. Is the doggy entering rage mode? Not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Miss was a much better representation for Broderbun. How about... How about gizmos and gadgets? Are you for fucking real? <laughs> you don't want the doggy to suffer, you just want to show her weird and interesting things. You do owe me something fun after Metal Gear 2? You did make me play Snake's Revenge, didn't you? That was... Bad. That was a bad game? I think it's funny that people wave Snake's Revenge in front of Kojima like, Haha, what do you think of this one? It's like, of course he thinks it's bad. Everybody thinks that one's bad. Oh, Gizmos and Gadgets is Learning Company? Wait, didn't they get merged? Such a shame, because it's a catchy theme. In your defense, you know very little about Metal Gear. We'll change that here on this channel, one way or another. Ah! Oh, I should have known that was deadly. The bumpy floor won't hurt me, it just moves me around. Oh. Can we span this? Okay. Wait, what is this gate? Did NES devs used to share assets? Uh, often it was the same people just remaking, like, you reusing the same assets across other games, but... Beware the Tower of Hanoi. Ah, shit, the ghost! Oh. I stepped on a steamy, a steamy geyser. Oh, the tower is my air refill. Wow, I hit a pixel of steam chat. It's over for, for Spelunky. This is really where Spelunky got its inspiration from? It's so crude. This is like Load Runner or Jetpack where it's like, okay, the difficulty makes it challenging enough that you just want to beat it out of spite. Oh, thank you for the head pats, Meryl. The learning company bought out every edutainment dev and then it collapsed? Oh no, the, the, the book fair will never be the same again. They made at least five sequels to this game? The most recent is on Steam and Switch and has a multiplayer focus. Is it still shit? Yeah, this was a genre. Like, this was, this was a thing. Like, I have super, super, super... Back? 
Uh, I have super duper early memories of playing crap like this on computers, like on DOS or whatever. Infinite life toggles? That would make it better. Oh, the fucking ghost, really? That's the ghost of my enthusiasm for this one. Gotta head out now, Nova Alpha. Oh, well, thank you for stopping in. I hope you have a good night. Hopefully see me after my vacation in Japan. Well, no worries. I will be back. Uh, I will be here for a while before then. I'm leaving February 16th, so you got a whole month and a half of doggy. But... Wait, the air gun kills the ghost from anywhere when he shows up. What? Oh, okay. Thanks for the tip. No, the Digidoggy number station is leaking again. Bork, 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 bork. Hey, Will. Hey. The Digidoggy Elbow Station. Huh? 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 We? Wait, wait, oh, come on! That was bogus. I shimmied. Oh, no, no. It's, uh... So... My expressions are actually manually puppeteered. Like, look. They're all just toggles, actually. So, like, I can be wah, I can be nya, I can be meh, I can be rah, uh, and I have all kinds of ear power, but they're, they're all just controlled by my numpad, actually. So, whenever I'm emoting, that's me manually doing that. I'm puppeteering myself, I guess. And then if I accidentally hit enter, you get something like that. Yep. So that's that's the actual reason for the Digidoggy number station. Oh, you love my model? Thank you, Jays. Thank you. I see you playing Hideous Destructor for Doom. Oh! Damn it, I forgot the buttons were transposed. Do 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 do. Fuck! Wow, this one is special. I might be able to get off the first screen. Give me money and a travel ticket to Russia, and I will beam Freya into the spectrogram of UVB 76, please. I would love to be immortalized in a spectrogram of the buzzer. Do you guys know about the buzzer? I mean, obviously Jimmy does, but do you guys know about the secret... A not so secret they want Russian shortwave number dead. station. L -l 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 word. Word. So there's this number station. Well, it, it's it's a radio station in the shortwave frequencies called UVB76. And ever since the 80s, it's just been buzzing. So everybody just calls it the buzzer. Like it constantly, 24 hours a day, it goes meh. 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 And that's all it does, usually. But every once in a while, somebody talks on it. And that, that always excites people because people think it's like part of the Russian military or something. So when people are talking on it, it's probably a, a big deal. But lately, trolls have been going on the frequency that UVB76 uses and just broadcasting random crap. Like spectrogram images of Hatsune Miku and the troll face and stuff like that. It's it's been it's been open season. People have been posting like furry femboy art in in like radio wave frequency form on UVB seventy six. It's uh it's quite hilarious. I just realized that I don't have a plan to get back when I come through this area. Yeah, they put boy kisser on there. Yeah, Radio Free Boy Kisser. Wow. Oh no! You lied to me! He didn't dissolve! Ah. 
Oh, it was dying. Just very, very slowly. Oh, good. Well, 30 more seconds with this one. Thanks for the bits, Dr. Dreadmore. There's a Game Boy Advance game for the Nightmare Before Christmas that I should play. Not necessarily on stream, just to experience the strange everything. Uh, so noted. Thank you for the for the interesting tip. And for the bits. I hope you're doing well tonight. Four seconds left in this hell. Ah! Okay. Not a doctor. Oh, DR Dreadmore. My bad. Alright, so that was Spelunker. Thank you for that very cursed addition to the stream there, SFG Connor. We are now freed of this horrible, horrible curse. So we will kill Mr. I did the top part of level one better than Rich. Well, that's just Rich. You know how Rich is. Okay, give me a second and I'll switch over. We have next Glover for Dura Soup. Okay, so this one I have to grab the ROM real quick. I mean, I have to grab the cartridge for my very legitimate console. Glover. I actually had a Glover t-shirt. I don't remember how I got the Glover t-shirt. I just know that they gave it to us at the Best Buy. Alright, so these, 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 I can't leave all of the N64 games on the Mr. all the time. But thankfully, I can remotely access it. So, give me just a second. Oh, your first weapon in the game is a frog gun. You don't launch frogs, instead it croaks a deadly gas and has a frog's head. Okay, I do need to check that out, DR Dreadmore. Also, thank you for the extra bits. Okay, let me see here. Gotta go down the list. Spelunker is done. Glover is next. I'm loading the Glover onto the Mister using FTP. Logging into Mister. Wait, no, not the NES. We need the N64 one. It's so cool that I can do this. I really wish I had grabbed a Wi-Fi adapter for the Mister sooner. Ooh, we're in glitchy mode. Thank you, Skeletorso, for glitchy doggy. Glover. Oh, it's okay. One second. We almost got this. Takes a little bit longer to get games that don't have on the system in there, but we'll be we'll be ready in a jiffy. Oh wait, crap, I got the wrong kind of Glover. That's the, uh, the PlayStation version of Glover. We need the other one. Wait, Durasu, do you have a preference? Which Glover would you prefer to glove? We could do either, actually. We could do N64, or we could do PlayStation. Ah! Thanks for the C4, I guess? Uh-oh. Thanks for the- thanks for the defuse, guys. Alright, let me see if I can make this one work. Hold up. Just a moment, please. Well, this certainly seems more correct. Okay, let's see if we can get Glover going. You wanna- you wanna find out if we can glove? No glove, no love. Okay, Mr. Let's go. Oh crap, okay. Uh, I guess we're gonna do it the fancy- I mean, the less fancy way. Yeah, Glover, we did it.
gets incorrectly cropped. We'll fix that too. Oh, it does have rad music, doesn't it? I remember Glover's noises more than anything else about this game, really. Made some weird noises, that Glover. Okay, gotta switch over to the N64 controller. Give me just a second. Hopefully that stick was in the right place when I turned it on. And... Come on. There we go. Now I should have a functional N64 controller here. Yeah, alright. I can use a real N64 controller. That makes these games so much better, chat. You have no idea. A lot of N64 games, the only good way to control them is with the stock controller. Okay, alright. We are set up. We are ready. And we are going to begin our timer. 15 minutes on the clock. Thank you for the suggestion, Dura Soup. Let's go. I've not really gotten to try out the N64 core much yet, so this will be educational. Oh, there's only three? Oh, okay. Well, I thought I could just put my whole name, but... D-O-G. Good to go, sir. You played this at like three or four on your aunt's N64? Whoa. Babby Jimmy. I think I rented this a couple times from Blockbuster, but I never owned it. I just thought it was mid. The wizard. Why are you looking so runescape though? <laughs> okay. God, this Corona soda is so good. Kind of sad I only have one can of this. I like how it's all the, the castle, the wizard, the accident, the transformation, and then you just get Glover. It's not the Glover. This is a stupid idea for a game. Welcome to literally hell. Hi, my name is Mr. Tip. If you want any hints, just speak to me. You can do this by standing near me and pressing B. Oh, by the way, you can press and hold B if you ever lose your ball. Good luck. Hey, Mr. Tip, thank you. Welcome to Glover, chat. It's Glover. Why is it like the bad part? Like, this is the bad timeline era in Ocarina of Time. It's like when Ganon's in charge and everything's all messed up and there's re-deads downtown. It's like literally that same like- Arr! What the fuck? I don't remember it being like this. I do not remember the opening of this game being so damn apocalyptic. We got our ball. We ballin'. Yeah, no, this is- this is intense. This is really bleak. Mr. Tip, how do I talk to you again? What the hell? I do not remember this. Is 
Is this some sort of anti-piracy world? No way. No way. Could it really? That would be so funny. That would be beyond funny. Can we go into any of these worlds? Oh my god, please tell me that this is anti-piracy. No, I think this is just how it be. We just have to find out which world we're supposed to be in. There's like flies? Yeah, I think it's just actually like this. Spoder. Oh, look at the spoder. Oh my god, it's a scuttlebug! Take us to another quad parallel universe, Mr. Scuttlebug. Yeah, when I think about it, I'm pretty sure that I played this on like a rental copy from Blockbuster that probably had some save data already. So this is just how it is. The I just don't remember it because we like went past this part. Somebody else did this for me. Oh, you rented it too? Yeah, this one's definitely like a rent and don't rent again. Be right back. All right. Wait, get in. I want to go into the, like there's a barrier. You also rented the, everybody rents Glover. Nobody purchases Glover. Okay, welcome to the well. Oh, it's got that crunkly authentic frame rate, all right. Wait, y'all didn't just not return their rented games? They charge you for that! Your 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 family gets charged like more than the MSRP of the game when you do that. Blockbuster would come after you and break your knees. You have at least half a dozen blockbuster or game crazy game cases? Jimmy, this is the, you're the reason they went under. <laughs> to be fair, Blockbuster did sell a bunch of like used games. You didn't rent the games? Yeah. When 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 Blockbuster was finished with their games, they sold them in those cases. So there was actually when when Blockbuster was going out of business, it was kind of a good time to be a gamer. Because you could get a lot of games for cheap. But I remember being frustrated because um, they didn't really mark down many of them that well. Like you're, you would think like, oh, I'm going to go find something really good. And it would just be like a copy of SSX Tricky for 30 bucks. And it's like, oh. Gamefly is still around? Wait, hold on. Gamefly is around? What? Gamefly is still around. Holy shit. Oh my god. I got something off of Gamefly like 15 years ago. They're a great used game retailer? What? Okay. Cool. I had no idea. You guys remember GameTap? The like streaming game service? You guys remember that, right? So GameTap is a... Uh, it was a service in the mid 2000s. And it was a lot like Game Pass, except the idea was that it was it was clouded, I think. If I remember right, I don't remember for sure, but basically you could you could just download a bunch of games. It was it was proto Game Pass. But it was also cloud gaming, I believe. Might be wrong about that part. GameTap did get Space Ghost to interview Todd Howard. Yeah, you could play a lot of games on GameTap for a modest fee.
When your blockbuster went under and the space was emptied, it was replaced by another raccoon... Uh, sorry, a, a movie slash game rental place called The Raccoon Can. That's incredible. I want to go to The Raccoon Can. I want to go to The Raccoon Can right now. Is it still there? It was not Cloud. Okay, right. It's just like a Steam where you didn't own anything. Right, the arcade games were Cloud. Ew, the goop. The Seth store. We love Seth, Ra Seth Raccoon. Mods, can we get a shout out for Seth Raccoon? Why aren't you following Seth Raccoon, chat? He's a cool raccoon. He's got so many eyes. So why did you go to a furry convention? What? Did you get asked that tonight? Who asked you that? Yeah, it's Seth funny and stinky. I remember me and my friend playing this game when we rented it and we didn't really go further than this room very much. It was like, meh. Oh, your stepdad. Oh, oh, geez. Wait, why did he know? Oh, I remember Hollywood video. It was owned by Blockbuster? What? I thought it was their, I thought it was their, their, their competition. Huh. Blockbuster bought out their competition. Oh, okay. That must have been late in the saga then. You brought your little brother since he was looking for paws or a tail. Wow. I mean, you you would definitely be able to find them there. But also, wow, Jimmy's, Jimmy's whole family is just furry, huh? Glover was the game ever. Yep, Mitch Zero, that is, yep. He already has a head? What? I want a fursuit. Chat. Chat. Can we, can we crowdfund Digi a fursuit? <laughs> no, not really. They're so expensive. I wouldn't expect that. But also, damn. Man, I want a fursuit. I almost, I almost beefed it. You can have a fursuit or a CRT collection, Digi. I already have a CRT collection, though. Let's crowdfund Digi a Glover 2 prototype part. I would, I would throw it away. Throw it in the trash. Because the d developers of Glover are anti-emulation. Turn my CRT collection into a fursuit. I actually have seen somebody who had a fursuit made of vintage computer parts. It was very cool. Wait, why did he- what? Why is this a button? Why? What? I'm pressing down C and it's just the burp button. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I'd be like that one Japanese furry dog cosplayer I shared months ago, but robot. I think about that cosplayer a lot. Actually, Mitch Zero, that is a very good suit. The guys that bought Glover and made the anti-emulation statement had nothing to do with the game's development. It's super gross. Damn, that's that's horrible. I had no idea. Now I feel bad. They just buy up tons of defunct IP? Fuck those people. Can you dribble the ball? Sort of. OG Dev was the Oliver Twins. Oh, okay.
Oh, they were the Dizzy people. Wait, so we were talking smack about Dizzy and now we're playing a Dizzy successor. Damn it. I don't understand. I think this is literally as far as we got when I rendered this game. We were like, nah, fuck this. Let's go play Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how the conversation went, actually. Whoa, so if we wouldn't have said the fuck word. Wait, what? I didn't say to, to quit. Oh, this game has burps and farts. Yeah, Glover can clearly fly. Why doesn't he just fly higher? Why doesn't he just hold the ball as he's doing it? Also, he's auto-throwing. I'm not telling him to do that. Glover is throwing for content. Under a minute left. Can we do it? Nope. No, we cannot. Glover, it was the video game ever. Wait, maybe you can hover it in the... Nope, stupid. You beat this game? Damn, Dura, you're better at video games than Doggy. Gotta head out, Coder Man. Okay. If you want to forfeit your uh, place in line to somebody else, we can, uh, we'll just bump you up the, we'll bump them up the, the queue. Sorry we couldn't make it to your game in time, but also, thank you for joining us and I hope you have a good night. Damn it, I think I finally understood that you can hover in the air and do this. Oh, cool game. Thank you so much for eight months of support. Thank you, thank you, thank Hello, you, thank sorry you. sorry for being late. Was watching FanFest stuff, cool benign look. Oh, don't worry about it, cool game. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that resub. Oh, you enjoyed it anyway? Good, Coder Man. I'm glad. Hopefully we'll catch you next time. We'll be playing some more Yakuza 0 tomorrow night. Probably. I might, I might go and finish Mega Man Legends instead. We'll see. But, uh, that was, that was Glover, all right. Thank you for the suggestion, Duras Soup. Let's see who's next on the list. Nova Alpha says Mega Man Legends. Oh, well, we can do that. Actually, we can do that so very easily. It'll be absurd. Let's use the search button here. We'll automatically launch right into it. And I'll switch over. Oh, cool game. Thank you so much for that Kofi. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's so cool of you. Thank you so much, Cool Game 17 You know, I really appreciate your support. Let's go ahead and switch this over to the PlayStation crop. This one was requested by Nova Alpha. Nova, you still here? Is it too late to suggest a game? It is for now, but I may end up reopening them as we continue through the evening. I'm gonna get through the queue, and then we'll we'll see In from there. World covered by endless water. We were actually playing this one recently, so this will be fun because I can just load my save and continue from there. The sea. We'll but get 15 minutes with this one. Let me switch over to the PlayStation controller. Give me just a second. Quantum refractors, a powerful energy source. These refractors lie in ancient ruins underground and in the sea and are sought out by explorers called diggers. These brave explorers are the sole source of refractor energy, which has become a cornerstone of the emerging civilizations. Originally, this was the diggers only purpose to find refractors so that civilization might endure. However, over the years, the story of a fabulous treasure. The well, that was a little scary. The mister almost fell off the table there, but we're all good. The we are, we are all good. The mother load. 
a treasure so okay let's get our proper controller for playstation time we'll get our snack oh no i overshot it we have to go back through here we go Okay. So much power that the world never need fear running out of energy. Seeking this mother load. Wait, is it working? From one island to another. In what the heck? It should be working. Controller's all lit up. It's not doing the thing. Huh. Okie dokie. That's fine. We'll just do it like this. Maybe it'll behave better in a second. It was working fine when we were playing it the other night. Huh. Okay. Not working, but that's all right. We'll just we'll just keep it going. Also, thanks for lurking there, D. You know I really appreciate it. We love all of our lurkers. I try to not uh call anybody out and say like, whoa, why aren't you talking or anything like that? So I'm just always happy to see you. You don't have to participate or you can participate as much as you want to. Either way, we're happy you're here. Where's my data? Oh, chat, that's brutal. It looks like it didn't save from our session before. That go. is unfortunate, but also it kind of frees me a little bit. Um, Mega yeah, Man. that sucks. Yeah, that's that's Mega that's not doggers at all. What the heck? Why didn't it save? You would really think. Yeah, we can use this time to catch up. I guess so. I guess so. Well, we'll start the timer all the same and keep at it. Wait a Digi, important question. Cappuccino or latte? Um, I don't drink much coffee, but I guess I would have a latte before I had a, a cappuccino. Yeah, you know what, chat? I will play up to where we left off before. That is kind of a bummer, though. We were having fun on New Year's playing this one. No coffee? I'm out of here. No! Oh no. Yeah, no, I I don't know. I get my caffeine through silly gamer sodas instead. Turn right there. Fine roll, I will. But I wanna kill these reaver bots first. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. I I, I do I do wish that we could skip back to where we were, but also, it wasn't too bad. That should be the way out. It's not far from your current. The thing is, when we were playing on New Year's, I was kind of being super slow and getting distracted. I could catch us back to where we were pretty quickly. Watch out! There's something right in front of you. Yes, it's called a Reaver bot. This is Photofa. Also known as a Zakuban. Have I tried the 64 version of this game? Yes, it is legendary for being a worse version of this game. Alright, let's go see our big funny Reaver bot friend. We got the oh, clock is ticking. Through. Looks like it didn't see you. It looked like a Reaver bot. It was two Reaver bots. You had Mega Man 64 when you were three and you hated it. Aw, oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, it's definitely the lesser version of this game. I hope you came to love the, the PS1 version though. Oh, you did, okay. Took until you were like 17. Hey, that's, that's still progress. You came to like it in the end, which is the correct opinion. When it hit the Vita. Oh yeah, the PSP was a, was a, real, a real boon for this series having a little second win. I just really wish we got Mega Man Legends 3. I know about refractors. You beat this on a Bondi Blue iMac? Thanks, Bleem. 
still need to play this game. You like the characters and all, you just don't know why you haven't started. Well, Will, if you want to give it a shot, there's actually a mouse aim hack for this game now. That should make it a lot easier Megan for new players. He's above you. Watch out. Yes, there's a mouse aim hack for this one. It's pretty cool. In fact, since I have to replay this one now to reach where we were, maybe, just maybe, that will be what I'll do. Also, is this not bound correctly? Can we really not get this to work with the snack? I'm mad. It's even lit up. It should be working. What the fuck, Koopo? It was working before. I don't understand. Your power. Ooh. Oh right, we can use real we can use real PlayStation memory cards with the with the Mister if I get a multi tap for it. That's pretty cool. Can I please use this now? Oh okay. That's so weird. It was working before. Oh, it was unplugged. That's... Uh-oh, I hope I didn't damage it. That's not good. That's... that's no bueno. Alright, one sec. I'll do one more check. Sorry about this. I don't get it, chat. I don't know why it's messed up. It should be working fine. It was working great with all the other ones. So weird. Like, we were literally using this the other night. Hmm. Oh, you can use a poppin' controller for this? That's great. That is so weird. Yeah, I'm having some slight controller issues. It makes this guy a lot harder. Yeah, I really want Capcom to do a legacy collection of these games. Uh-oh. Why did I explode? Yeah, so I don't actually... Something that's happening right now is I can't actually... I don't have keybinds for R2. Wait, can we? Ah, uh, that might not be anything. I'm not gonna risk it. You think Capcom should do some more NFTs instead? Banned. Banned. You retract that statement? Good. Yeah, no, that, that, that really gets under my skin. They're like, you like Mega Man, right? Mega Man NFTs? Just kick it. Found some money. Oh! Get grottiest. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny. 
Ever since I started streaming, I just picked the Moai as like a funny insta-kill thing as like just a random choice. Ever since then, I have been absolutely surrounded by Moai imagery. I don't know if I just never noticed it before or if it's really just that ubiquitous, but yes, there has been so much Moai crap appearing in my life ever since then. Hey, you like Mega Man, right? Here's some straight up digital waste that we slapped Mega Man's face on. Yep, that's Maybe Capcom. Showing a large blip in front of you. A large it's blip. Okay, so we'll only get through the first dungeon area probably during this little snippet, but I still love this game so much. Wolf? Are you alright? Can you hear me? Boy, it sure would be nice if I could lock on right now. Yeah, who needs lock on when we can circle circle strafe so clean? Got him. I love his face there. He's like, ha ha, gotcha. Yeah, no, this game has aged so well. You've aged so well. I've been streaming for a year and we still love you all. Oh, thanks, Skeletor, so you're sweet. Look at that, Scott. I sure, I sure hope well, so. I want to keep getting bigger and better with you guys. I feel like I haven't been doing enough lately, but you know, that's that's probably just me. Back for more? You've been a busy fox, yeah. Life just keeps coming at you. You better watch out, it's coming at ya. You better watch out, it's coming at ya. See ya. Hold on. We're taking off. Uh, I really just wish we could inhabit this setting more. It's such a shame that Capcom won't make another one of these games. I feel like everybody craves this kind of vibe. It's like a Miyazaki movie in video game form. It just stares up at him. I mean, what else is it gonna do? It has one arm. I was that reaver bot and, and somebody was getting away from me the only thing I could really do would just be like <laughs> that's all I could do that's that's the best I could offer is just yeah yeah that's it that's that's the only that's the only trick Phew. nice timing roll Anytime, yeah Mega Man. I'm sorry Mega Man I had some engine problems and it's okay, Roll. But I'm glad you showed up when you did. I'm sorry, this oh, doesn't look like I Resident Evil. Right? It's not gonna happen. We to yeah, it's not a monster hunter either. We should be able to get by with that for a while. If only the mother load were as easy to find as this. Don't worry, we'll find it some Oh, parents. is it time to bird up already? Thanks. I know we will. Oh, the engine's overheating. The smoke's so thick I can barely see. What? I guess the flutter's in worse shape than I thought. Oh, the number five feeders is going crazy. She can't take much more of this. Gramps, can you open up the number 11 valve again? Got it. We'd better find some place to sit down. Mega Man, check 
the map. There's an island called Cadlock about a hundred miles southwest. Good, Jack. <laughs> Time to flightless bird up. I swear some Freya quotes live rent free in my head like Richie Cupo for quotes for Freya. I'm glad that somebody is getting the 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 corgi memes. This came out a year before Ocarina of Time chat. Looks like, looks like a year before Ocarina, fully voice acted, super cinematic, moving anime like game. Really good. This really looks good. Pretty bad. I don't think it'll be safe to set foot in here for quite a while. We've been pushing her so hard. Haven't been taking good enough care of her. God, there's a tree embedded in the windshield. We'll just have to fix her up. Looks like the repairs aren't going to be finished anytime soon. We'll be here for a while, I guess. This island, what do you call it, Mega Man? Cattle Ox? Must have a town or a city somewhere. Cattle Ox. Think you could go take a look around? Okay, chat. Well, we can go take a look around, but we're not going to get far before the timer runs out. At the very least, I will take the time to save our game. So that we don't have to start completely from scratch when I come back to this one. Monkey. Hopefully it works this time. Yeah, here's hoping. I think I know what I did wrong. This is something I've encountered before when playing Metroid Fusion. So I think what I'm going to have to do is save memory cards manually like that in the thingy. Mm-hmm. Look at that. I'll save state it too. That's probably a safe bet. All right, guys, we gotta go take a quick breather. When we get back, there will be more viewer requests and more Digi Doggy. So, grab yourself a snack, grab yourself a drink, get yourself a nice little stretch break in, and before you know it, we'll be back together hanging out, having some more fun right here on Digi Doggy. Oh, Connor, you're going to bed? All right, you have a good night. Thanks for keeping us company. As for the rest of you, I will see you in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. We will be back very soon. And in the meantime, let's jam out with the uh, Bomber's Cyberfunk track. Let's do it. All right, everybody. See you real soon.
行きます Next Friday, catch a sneak peek of the next level of game shows, Nick Arcade, after the Nick Hit List at 7, 6 Central, only in Nick's Ozone. Welcome back, everybody. I'm still DigiDoggy, still your favorite dog-shaped robot, Corgi Girl, and I appreciate you sticking with me during that break there. We're having Mr. FPGA Community Request Night tonight. That's right, the viewers choose what I play. Thanks so much for your suggestions this evening. I hope you've been having fun. Before the break, we just finished up with Mega Man Legends as per request by... Nova Alpha. And now it's Mitch Zero's turn. We're going to be playing some Cruisin' USA. I've already got it preloaded onto the system. I took some time during that break there to switch it over. So it should be ready to go. Hopefully. Let's find out. Cruisin' save game data in the game pack could not be accessed. Oh boy. Alright, let's see if we can get the snack to work this time. I'm a little worried that it's damaged. Oh, it works. Okay, not damaged. Mega Man Legends was just being persnickety. All right, we're still on PlayStation crop. I gotta fix this. Ah, hey, Pine Tree Noodle. How's it going? How you doing? How you been? All right, we have 15 minutes on the clock and we are going to begin with Cruising USA. Now, whenever I think about this one, I think about the arcade cabinet for it being in like random places where I went on vacation as a kid. Yes, that's right. Myst was originally started to create FPGA versions of the Atari ST and the Amiga 500. ST stands for 16 slash 32. Okay, I guess we're going on US 101. Ah, uh, jeez. I don't want to switch through gears. Got a clock in? Okay, Pine Tree Noodle. Have a good day at work. Hopefully it goes easy. Yeah, we're going to take the muscle car. It's a, it's a, it's a Corvette. Boy, I sure don't remember the controls for this, but it is a real N64 controller, so I'll figure it out. Oh, pressing A is not the key. You have to press Z. Well, we've already lost the race, but we'll see. Wow, this is some interesting features. Whoa, this music sounds so hypnospacey. Whoa! Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, there's a cop on my tail. Bluegrass boogie. Yeah, it's kind of like Outrun. Oh boy, these, these music tracks are really funny. Yeah, I feel like I would be struggling mightily if I was using anything other than a real N64 controller for this. It really controls well. The music's kind of goofy. I guess we'll go with House Special. Well, I thought we were going to win the race, but we are we're really taking it easy right now. Ah, and I spoke too soon. Oh, and we instantly stop so we don't run over the ladies. Oh my god. Oh. She gyrates. <laughs> she vanishes like she's an OBS transition. It's pretty good. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. 
I accidentally put a T, so I had to make some kind of word out of it. Oh, I thought it was going to be at the top of the scoreboard. Now I look like a fool. Let's go to Appalachia. What? We have to go to the same place we already went? Huh? Why? We already did that. I do not understand. Let me go somewhere else. Ready? What? Go. This is dumb. Why would they do it like that? I do not understand. Cruise USA, maybe. America, explain. Well, at least the music tracks changed. Was I not fast enough? Oh, death and destruction. Officer down! <laughs> Oh my god, okay, this is way more fun than playing the game properly. Is there a Seattle map in this game? I sure hope so, Jimmy. Do you need to be number one? I was last time. There's Redwood Forest. Oh, that's California. That doesn't count. <laughs> Roadkill Jam. Oh dear god, that's- ugh, I don't like that. Being in first person when you get spun out is not my idea of fun. Oh, my opponents are spinning each other out though. This is my moment. You need the smoke out front of the welcome to weed sign in California for the meme? Do it, Jimmy. You won't. Do it. Do it. Also, I love that I landed directly back on my wheels and just kept going, but that cop was over. Actually, extremely slow tonight. Good. Guess everybody partied themselves out for New Year's last weekend. New hot time. Oh, I didn't want to- uh, damn it! I wanted to do a different one that time. What the fuck is going on? Why does it only let me do this one track? Okay, let's cruise the USA then. Got honked at? Oh, Jimmy. You probably didn't deserve it. I have to honk almost every day in traffic in this town, though. People be on their phones. Not okay. Oh, okay. Now we're now we're talking. We got the Golden Gate Bridge, but it's like super short and, and chibi. Damn, this muscle car performs really well, actually. Oh, now we got the the Green Bridge. What is this? Wow, it's just like California. Did you just pit maneuver me? You son of a bitch! You saw that, right? They like twitched and I just went. Oh my god. Rude ass. Rude. Oh, we're getting tore up now. Saw my fellow muscle car was just like, nope, get off the road, nerd. There he is. That's the son of a bitch that did it. This is Cruise the USA, huh? There's a bunch of different kinds of bridges. I didn't know the USA was bridges. Checkpoint! Ah, uh, there he is in my sixth! There he goes! How is he faster than me? 
Ah, you bitch! They got tumbled, though. I think we're gonna- No! How are you faster than me, you cheating bastard? You're the same as me. Oh, Jesus, that cop is, uh... Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Stealing my first place from me, I see how it is. Only second. Ooh. Let's see if we can make up for it. Man, they're getting their mileage out of these tracks, too. Checkpoint! Oh, there is different tracks on the, the stations. Sometimes. What? No! Get out of the way, adorable mini truck in pretty colors. This game has all the polygons in the world. Holds two. That's incredible. Oh god, I really want to watch YouTube poops with you guys. I think that's allowed. As long as they're not too raunchy. Come on, Lupin. We both know it's you, Lupin. <laughs> How dare you, Lupin? Take it back. Take it back now, y'all. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Crisscross. Everybody clap your hands. I can't. I can't, though. I can't clap. You guys will have to clap for me. Do they still do the cha-cha slide in schools? One can only hope so. If they're not doing the cha-cha slide in schools, why even have school? I heard that they still do the book the book fair. Also, we did it that time. We got the gift lady. Your junior year had it. Yeah, no, the N64 core is doing a great job. Now, I don't understand why... Why do we only get to pick the last letter now? What? Oh, there we go. Heh. <laughs> I'm gonna have a sippy- oh crap, well we're gonna be racing, but I'm still gonna have a sippy. Oh wow, regular soda tastes kind of like medicine after having that guarana soda. That stuff was really good. Check it out, San Francisco. It out, San Francisco. Yeah, I'm seeing it. It's like 17 FPS. I don't blame the mister for that, by the way. That's just how it was. I have so much traction. I, oh, it's my old nemesis, the blue Corvette. Shit. Yeah, that's right. Eat my collateral damage. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. No, bad timing. Hey, Moonstorm 3D. How's it going? How you doing? How you been? This song is a little lewd, isn't it? She's all like, ah. Huh? I didn't do that. Play like your 2B mashing on the start button or something. This is Cruising USA. Hey, old hat gaming. How's it going? How you doing? How you been? It's 
the ghost? <gasps> the ghost? I'm not I'm not ready for the ghost. You're all good? Hey, good to hear it. Glad you could join us. Just staying up too late watching VTubers? Hey, what else can you do on a Saturday evening? It's a good way to be. That was a pretty good one. No, you can't loop around, shit! Too many people out there getting COVID this evening. Yeah, it's really not good with the, the, the current infection rates. Yep, stay, stay masked if you have to go out. Don't go socializing if you don't have to. I know it sucks, but getting COVID sucks worse. Yeah, it's the it's actually the worst wave it's ever been. One in three Americans has COVID right now. No, really. Yeah. Yeah, we just kind of gave up on that. Yeah, I I've kind of been antisocial. Like last night, I was invited to go do a thing, and even if I wasn't messed up by my job, just really giving me too much work. I would not have done it. I'm sorry. Bumper cars! Yes. We're getting wild with- Oh shit, wait. The timer ran out. I was just having so much fun with cruising that I didn't- I did not notice. Uh, we have to go on to the next game. Thank you for that suggestion. That was actually very fun, Mitch Zero. Uh, we will go ahead and switch to Road Rash from Jimmy. So this will be Road Rash on the Genesis. Here, we'll get some ambience going. I said we'll get some ambience going. Oh gosh darn it, my little thingy is broken. <sighs> Stream deck, why you gotta be like this? All right, stand by and we will switch to our next game. Jimmy McThickus has selected Road Rash. Wait, no, go out of your cro Kobe. We don't need you. All right, here's where the list currently is, chat. When we get through all of these, if I still have any gas left in the tank, we'll take a few more. Even though I do have a selection of Genesis controllers available somewhere, they're not readily available to me. So, any Genesis games we play will be using just a regular old Xbox 360 controller. We know that's the Game Gear version, no! Alright, here we go. Road Rash for Jimmy. Uh, hello? Uh... What? Oh, it just took its sweet time. Okay. Sheesh. Had me bugging for a second there. Okay, we'll do Road Rash 2 since 1 seems to be dysfunctional. 2 is probably good anyway.
Oh boy, we got that Genesis sound chip. Gosh darn it. Okay, let me fix something real quick on the back end here. I thought I could fix it. Man, that is some good music though. Oh, it cut itself off. Hold on, let's let's just get back to that. I want that again. Hold on. We have a sound test, right? Yeah, let's jam. Wait, that's not a dance. That's just me running. I can dance better than that. Man, what a good track. People are like, well, the Genesis sounds bad. It's like, are you kidding me? Genesis is really good when it's got a good composer. Oh shit, wait, the timer is ticking. I should probably... Like actually do the game. <laughs> Sorry, I got I got enthusiastic about the music. Oh, but it's so good though. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Okay, whoa. Ugh, frame rate chat. The frames! There's three of them. <laughs> okay, so that's how you- Whoa! Jeez! Ah! See, I ride motorcycles and I'm pretty sure that I don't want to punch anybody on another bike. See, there's this pesky Newton's second law. It kind of gets in the way. When you punch somebody else on a bike, you're just gonna punch yourself, basically. What about a chain? Oh, that would be worse. It would flail around and destroy your paint job. Third law. Yeah, that's probably the one that I meant. Could just let go of it. Then I wouldn't have a chain. Biggest frame rate in the world. Holds two. That's incredible. Oh my god. Suspension destroyed. That person's going to the hospital. There's a deer in the road. There's a moose in the road. There's a Chevelle in the road. Oh god. Well, it's over for our rider now. Oh, nope. We're good. It's funny watching someone who rides a bike play this. Yeah, I can see that I definitely would not be riding like this. Although my bike is probably roughly as powerful as the one depicted here. We totally died there. Oh, definitely. There is no doubt. Would it even be possible to shoot a gun on a bike? Yes. Yes, you could shoot a gun on a bike. Uh, the recoil from a gun would be pretty negligible on a bike. I mean, if you were, like, spraying a rifle or something, maybe, but... Yeah, no, you could you could pop off a pistol on a motorcycle, and... Really, you wouldn't even feel the, feel the recoil much from something like that. But yeah, we'd be dead there. That would be over. Yeah, like, if you had, like, a 9mm, you could, you could, you could go bat 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 off of a, off of a bike and... What's worse, this or Excite Bike? This. Excite Bike is a closed course sporting event. This is just some country road that we're having a mobile brawl on. 
And shooting a 50 cal on a bike for shits and giggles might go down a little differently. But I feel like, I mean, we've all seen movies where they're like shooting Uzis and stuff off of a bike, right? It's gotta be possible. Ah, 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 jeez. Yeah, no, there's, there are people that are actually, you know, doing crimes off of bikes. Moo? Was that a big moo? Oh my god. Our bike is... Ugh. Chunks. Ooh, who's that? I like her. Okay, let's go to the bike shop. A Shuriken 400. Oh, thanks for the bonk, I guess? Let's see if we can find something close to what I have. Very fast, very expensive, and very, very red. Yep, that's that's my bike, actually. Wait, has chat seen my motorcycle? Let me see if I can do something about that. I feel like I've shared this before. Let me see here. Ah, yes. There we go. So, this is as close as you're gonna get to a, a face reveal from me. But this is- this is my motorcycle. Also, wow, that- that shish in the music is not very appealing. Oh, I wish you would stop doing that. Jeez. That was weird. Wait, okay, here's my here's my motorcycle. This is my 1995 BMW K75 RT. It is my baby. It is very big and heavy. It weighs about five times as much as me, but I am the one in charge. But yeah, if you ever if you ever see this red rider around Seattle, you might have seen a doggy. German Goldwing. Kind of, yeah, basically. I mean, it's 750 cc, but yeah. Yeah, we can't afford to any of this crap. Let's just go for it. Uh, it does that thing that Genesis does where it holds the last note. I like that all these guys have names like Bunker and Slug, Rude Boy and Axel, and then there's Leslie. Leslie. This is some music, all right. <laughs> wow. We only have percussion. Yeah. yeah! Oh, okay. That was good timing. Whoa, his bike has been vacated. Oh, and there goes mine. Oof. Six broken legs. Oh yeah, Leslie is no doubt the most dangerous. There he goes. Drum and bass without the bass, so it's just drum. Yeah, six broken legs. Also, our bike is about to explode. If I crash anymore, it's over. Oh, that's it. Bike is dead. And so is the rider, oh my god! Oh, Jesus! 
Somebody call the hospital. Oh my god, they had to run a quarter mile. Oh, and the bike exploded when they got back to it. Oh, that's just cruel. Oh, can you imagine? You walk away from a motorcycle accident and you run back to your bike like, Oh shit, is it okay? And then it just fucking explodes. That's some red line shit. Oh my god, you're so right. Poor sweet JP. Also, yo, happy 10th year anniversary to... Space Dandy, the best anime. I like that they said, hey brah, try to stay on the bike. Where are we racing? Is this supposed to be some like messed up version of Hawaii? We're racing at the island where Jurassic Park takes place. Ah! Jesus Christ. I'm a much better motorcyclist in real life than I am in Road Rash. I'll say that, chat. Whoa. Yeah! I guess you scream yeah when you steal their weapon? Oh shit, we washed out. Oh, jeez. Digital Foundry clocked this game at having a whole 10 FPS. I mean, if it works, this one did sell a lot. Yeah, this is oh, this round is over. We got left. There's Leslie in our rear view, though. Oh my god. Dress for the slide, not for the ride. Between this and cruising, no wonder Cali sucks. Yep, that, that tracks. You're allowed to lane split in California, though. That means you can go around a car with your motorcycle. You can slip between them and stuff. It's not legal anywhere else in the United States. Oh, damn, the cops came. Oh, no, they're packing me into the trunk. Oh, no, and then the bike fell over. Oh, Jesus. Got a $200 ticket. Alright, let's race in uh, Tennessee for our last race of the session. You're gonna throw me in the river wrapped in a carpet? I mean... It, in Tennessee, they might. I've been to Tennessee. This is not accurate. Well, maybe a little accurate. There's not enough outhouses. Or churches. We're out churches. Yeah, no, this is actually pretty legit. This is this is Tennessee. No, that's Memphis. That's the other side of Tennessee. This is clearly the Appalachian side. Yeah, the background here is pretty. I like how they use their dithering. They don't have that many colors, but they layered them in a way that makes it look like there are. All that synthetic fur, isn't Freya always wrapped in carpet? I mean, I guess. I'd like to think of a little more plush than carpet, though. Ah, shit, don't wash out! 
It's weird because getting back on the road actually does feel a little bit, in some way, like getting back in control of a motorcycle that's disobeying you, but it's hard to describe. How pretty was North Carolina? Uh, parts of North Carolina are freaking gorgeous. I was a little jaded about the place when I lived there, but I would say that um, Washington State is even prettier. There are parts of North Carolina that are gorgeous and there are parts of it that are not, but it is a very pretty place as, as places go. Also, we are cooking at 120. Oh, let's go back to 1999 with Hypnospace and- Oh no, it breaks the capture! Oh shit! Oh no! How? What? Huh? This doesn't make any sense. What? That- I'll have to fix that. I'll have to figure out why that happens. That's really weird. Sorry about that. Going 120 was scary enough in a car. You can't imagine going 120 on a motorcycle. I've been about... The fastest I've ever gone on a motorcycle was about 105. And that was a lot. I would not recommend it. So I cannot tell you what it's like going 120 on a bike. And I hope I never find out. Oh my god. Well, that guy's dead. That's what happens when you're going 120 on a bike. You touch another car for a split second and you're dead like Mario touching a Goomba. I've been to the Biltmore Estate in North Carolina and also took the wine tour. You know, it's funny, I had the option to go on a field trip to that when I was a kid, but it was very far away, so it was a charter bus thing, and my family was like, nah, we're not paying for that. So I had to stay home. Also, yeah, we won! We won! <laughs> right when I got the, uh, the final attempt, too. Well, that's good. Let's move on to our next game. Let's see. All right, so we just finished with Road Rash for Jimmy. Next up is Digi Bunny with Doggy Choice. I get to pick. What do I pick? Oh my goodness, what do I pick? I want to try out the N64 core because I'm just as curious about it as you guys are. Let me see here. N64 controller is still plugged in. Oh, Billmore was using, used for the live-action Richie Rich movie. I didn't know that, but that makes entirely a lot of sense, actually. That is that is very natural. Yeah, that, that would work. It's a very opulent place. I want to try this out. It's a Nintendo 64 ROM hack. Let's see if this one actually works. Don't worry, I'm fixing the clip. Oh, it's already ready. Okay, so this is Smash Remix. I'm really curious about this. So while there's an N64 core, yeah, it's really good too. It's been really excellent. So this is a ROM hack. I've never played this and I want to see if it's good. Whoa, that's an interesting roster, isn't it, chat? Whoa, look at that. Who are we playing as? That's definitely not my normal Smash 64 roster. All right, time is ticking. Who are we picking? Wolf! Wario. Wait, there's Wario? Yeah, let's do Wario. Wario! He's a gonna ween. All right, let's do it. Link! I haven't played Smash 64 in a lot. Whoa! Man, that's a hell of an entrance. Oh, he's got his, his Wario Dash. What's his down B? Oh, he ground pounds. Oh, but you can't use the... Okay. My up recover. It's the same. Okay, so he's just got... 
He doesn't have a side B. Oh, yeah, those bumpers. Man, I still really love the vibes of Smash 64. Playing this shit at McDonald's on a greasy controller. Yeah, it has really weird sound effects and I love that about it. I love the hit sounds, they're so bizarre. Ah! Oh jeez, alright. No, don't be an edgehog, Link. Get over here. Hey! Yoshi team! Oh right, they're super fragile. Wario's playstyle is basically just Wario from the Game Boy games. He's pretty good, too. I would play this with other people. I want to play this network with Rich. I want to see... I want to play competitive Smash Remix. Oh damn, he, he no-sold that. Perfect parry. Clefairy. He went to the con, saw a Crestron panel, work flashbacks. Yeah, some of my friends are running the AV at that con and it seems like the only reason they like it is because they get to go be AV nerds. What if we called them Wario Troids instead of Metroidvanias? I mean, sure, I'm down. No items, Fox only, final destination. Wow, this is effective. This should not be so effective. This is really funny, actually. I'm gonna have to continue this strat now because it's the meme. We're just gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my god, it's working! Yeah. <laughs> There's a single move bonus in this game? Me when I- yeah. <laughs> that was incredible. Oh no! No! Failure! No. I was so close, chat. Oh, hey, Papino. Thanks for the head pats, Jimmy. Go! Ooh, combo. There's cheese graters on the corner. Yeah! Yeah! I love how effective that move is. Oh right, there's a friend. That's Donkey Kong. He's a friend. Yeah! Get his ass! Yeah! I want the Maxim! Yes! 
doggy sweep. Come on, let me let me smash attack you. This, there we go. Man, Smash 64 rules. He got you. Whoa, Wario, you? you can't go crashing planes into buildings like that. That's not okay in America anymore. Yeah, this is this is a modded Smash 64, Ash. This is called What is it called again? Smash Remix, that's what it's called. Oh, I forgot I can ground pound. Ooh, home run bat. Time to clutch. Bye! Oh, wow, look at how good his face is. This is a really good mod. Giants Donkey Kong! Digi Donkey versus Tiny Richie Koopa! Oh, wait, oh, this is chaos. Wow! Yeah! If I had the budget to make one Digi Doggy thing IRL, what would it be? Wait, like, hold on. One Digi Doggy thing. Please elaborate. I am intrigued by your query, but I want to make sure I understand it. Yeah. Stay down. Stay down, big boy. That's right. Yeah. More the platforms. Oh, like the jacket that Frey wears? I already had that. I basically have that. Uh, billboard, full-size figurine, animatronic, could even be a piece of tech. I mean, honestly, seeing a full-sized animatronic Freya would be pretty much the dream. And then I'll work on uploading my consciousness into it. Oh, what? How the fuck? Okay. I don't know if that was how I was supposed to navigate that, but I did it. Oh god, it's following me. Oh, it's gonna take some precision, chat. There's only one left. No! <laughs> Damn it. That was a cheap shot, Smash Smash Rivals or whatever. Time to buy one of those Japanese robots and customize it. I don't know, it wasn't quite wasn't quite there. Yeah, and you break the target stage for every character. I wonder if they managed to get Kirby abilities too. That would be insane if they did that. Animatronic Freya in the Hall of Presidents. I mean, I'd make a better president than most of those guys did. I still think- okay, so I don't normally delve into politics very much on my channel just because it's not really my place to talk about things like that. But I do think it's very, 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 very funny that they made a President Trump animatronic for the Hall of Presidents. And you can visibly tell that they were super sure that Hillary Clinton was going to be the president. So it's like this weird Hillary Trump. It's very... that's hilarious. I don't... I don't mean that from any particular political angle. I just think it's so funny that they had to like change course like that. Also, wow, I forgot the gun sound in this was so vicious. Yeah, it looks like Hillary playing Trump on Saturday Night Live. That's, that's a great way of putting it. God, this gun sound is so visceral. Oh, and it's empty. Yeah! Wow. 
Oh, it's cute texture meow. Oh, come on. This last this last Pikachu Kirby is there we go. Light bright Freya signs anonymously anonymously posted on signposts around Boston. Oh my god. The Moon and Night controversy was so dumb. It was such a dumb thing. Hey Piku Dragon. Yes, the Smash 64 sound effects are just truly excellent. There's nothing quite like them. Also, wow, I feel like I'm get, getting pretty comfy with Wario here. He plays really well. You guys ever want to play Smash Ultimate with me? Want to help me get good? No, you're gonna make Cartoon Network and Adult Swim worse somehow by getting in the execs fired. Eh, uh, it's fine. Mike Lazo's already gone. Ooh, that was a good meaty hit. Ooh, that bitch slap that he dies. Jesus. Oh, and it's over for Samus. We could suck at Ultimate together. You've only played it once. Oh, my roommate is pretty sweaty about it. I think I'm actually okay at it. Oh, I love how creepy Metal Mario is in Smash 64. He's like a cryptid. I love that the music doesn't start until the fight does. I love his weird walking sound. I love how inscrutable he is and how he just no-sells super strong hits. Yeah, he's gonna be trouble. The best we can do is try to grab him and throw him. He has so much gravity. If we can just get him off the edge, he probably won't be able to recover. Oh, I'll give him a sword, that'll help. Oh Jesus, he's mining money from us. Oh god. Wario coins are not legal tinder. You do not want to use them at the store. Hey, not bad. You remember being disappointed at how much less cool metal was in Melee now that you could be it? Yeah. Melee was cool in a lot of ways, but I will admit that 64 had some certain kinds of riz. Yeah. Who the f- is that Jigglypuff? Are we sharing space with Jigglypuff? Fuck out of here, Jigglypuff. No. I don't want that. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 Oh, here comes Polygon Yoshi. Looking all creepy cryptid. Race to the finish. They cannot keep up with my movement abilities though. Wario's got the tech. Oh yeah, that is a Kirby enemy. Those are in uh, Kirby 64, right? Oh yeah, they give you the paint power. The like yo-yo thing. Okay, we'll make this... You know what, I want to get to Master Hand in this one. We're, we're so close. I know the timer is what it is, but... I am the doggy. I make the rules. Also, wow, I just lost the stock to nothing. Wario's bitch slap move does so much damage. You could just straight up knock smaller enemies completely off with that one side A. Like, you just do a tilt and it's over. Wah! No, don't get the Pokeball! That's my Pokeball! Pikachu! No! Polygon team! How could you? Fine, no mercy!
I gotta be careful. Yeah. Oh no, I did it three times in a row. Oh, chat. I threw for content. Okay, you know what? I wanna, I wanna see it through. We'll do this. Oh, that yeah really hurts on these these smaller maps. All right, no throwing this time. Yeah. 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 That's all you need to do is land a yeah. Yeah. You wish we had the Dragon Ball Z, Smash Brothers, Capsule Corp technology IRL? Yeah, me too. Mass compression would be pretty sweet. Although, imagine if you open a capsule in the wrong place, you'd die. It would just be over. Like, oops, my capsule house. I opened it inside the garage. And I accidentally a whole conservation of mass. Yeah. Ah, oh, there's no edge grab when I do that. I did the same thing. Oh, we Koopa now. It's Koopa Shows. How did the capsule house work in the cave on Namek? I guess they just found a big ass cave. I guess the cave was just that beef. Yeah, it was super beef. Yeah. Yeah. They really did a good job with Wario. He feels like he should. Oh no! Ah, jeez! Stock explosion sound, ba bomb. Just gotta really carefully aim your yeah. No! We went off the map. Wait, there's monster infighting happening right now. All right, can I do it? It's clutcher kick. Yeah. 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 We did it. <laughs> that was really close. Oh, we lost 99 points for cheap shot. All right, let's see if I can beat Master Hand before the break. <laughs> Master Hand used to scare me. Oh, you love Toriyama cars? I, I do too. I love his, his motorcycle and car designs very much. They're usually based on real vehicles that he's just like drawn all cheapy like. Ah! I barely remember how to fight him. Oh no. I am not pressing the start button. I think this controller is just a little bit goopy. The Waluigi's still not in Smash, even in, in Smash Remix. Uh, Rip. He's just too powerful, chat. You don't understand. Yeah, I played Ghost in the Shell PX1 before. It's really cool. Very ambitious. And the closest that we ever got to seeing the manga in, like, game form. You missed the cool Smash Brothers N64 music? Oh. Hold on, I gotta snooze this ad. Also, we are dangerously close to death. Oh! Yeah! I think he's just losing one HP regardless of what hits. Which means that I should just spam. No, 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 no. We got poked to death, chat. Continue. All right, one last try. One last try. One last try. That's it. I know we're past our time limit for this one. I'm just having too much fun with, with it. The pride. Pride with the pride. Don't, don't give him advice. He's already winning. He did really good with the prod before. Yeah. yeah. 
Wrong direction, Mario. Okay, yeah, actually does a lot of damage. So does the butt pound. If you can land it. Oh! Oh, bad timing. Yeah! Ah, uh, no! Okay, two stocks. Wario has no fast combos. Like, there's nothing you can mash to, uh, to get a lot of damage in quickly with small hits. He just has a lot of high damage. Oh, but his, his block is pretty good. Come on, do it then. Ah! Come on. Yes, no sold it. I forgot how good the shield is. Damn, those sound effects are so meaty. Come on. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, we're down to one stock. It's now or never, chat. Can Wario hack it? Does he have what it takes? He seems to think so. He says, yeah. Oh no, that's a shield buster. I shouldn't have let him do that. Oh no, the execution, chat! With the HP? Can we do it? Clutch or kick? Uh, Jesus. No! Oh my god, the recovery. Don't prod me. Don't stick with the prod. Oh, my fingers are so sweaty, chat. Yeah. No. Do it, do it, do it. Oh no! Ah! Come on, Wario! Ah! Oh no, that's... What do you mean, incredible? Come on, block it! What HP?! Wow! Digi doggy clutch! Oh. <laughs> I thought it was over. Wow. That was intense. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for the mission pass, guys. Whoo! That was intense. Okay, chat. We gotta take a quick breather. We gotta go for five minutes and head out to a quick little ad break. You know the drill. Grab yourself a snack, grab yourself a drink, get yourself a nice little stretch break in, and before you know it, we'll be hanging out, having more fun with Mr. Request Night. Don't go anywhere, because we'll see you real soon. Right after these messages.
Yo, Retro Hazard, welcome in, Raiders. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. I am DigiDoggy, your favorite dog-shaped robot, Corgi Girl. We are currently on a quick breather while we take care of the uh, Twitch-mandated ad break. But thank you all the same for your raid. Hope you had a wonderful stream, and I will catch up with you in about four minutes. I gotta grab a drink real quick. But don't go anywhere. We'll see you real soon, and we really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you again. Everybody, join us in giving Retro Hazard a follow. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for sticking with me during that brief break. And thank you again, Raiders. Thank you so much, Retro Hazard. Oh my goodness, welcome, welcome. Let's get a shout out for Retro Hazard up in here. Thank you so much, Retro Hazard. I hope you're having a wonderful evening. What were you getting up to on your stream there? I am DigiDoggy, your favorite dog-shaped robot, Corgi Girl. Howdy, 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 hello. And wait a minute, Retro Hazard. What is this about RateVirus.exe? What? That's, that's gotta be a mistake, but... You know, I really appreciate you all the same. Thank you, thank you. Oh.
Hey, Retro Hazard, thank you again for that raid. Hello, everybody. We are back. We are having Mr. FPGA Community Night, and you are getting to choose the games. We just finished up with a doggy's choice, courtesy of Digi Bunny. Thank you, Digi. I hope you're having a good night. Thank you, thank you again for that special choice for just for me. We are now going to launch into some Ninja Gaiden, courtesy of Van the Trash Puppy. Van, I hope you're still with us because here's your request. Thank you, thank you again for making your selection. Yo, Bone, hey! Yes, it is Digioggy request night. Hey, Bone. You know, you helped inspire the format for this one a little bit. So thank you for that. I hope you're having a wonderful night. Chat, go check out MC Bone. He's a cool, chill skeleton who plays a lot of request nights and does a lot of fun things. All right, we're gonna get the timer rolling on this request for Van the Trash Puppy. So here is your countdown. Also, here is our current list. We are on Van's game. Next up will be Kasharden with Captain Skyhawk, if that works. Uh, Coderman gave up his slot, so we'll go straight to Doom Guy. And then it'll be Skeletorso's turn. Arrows! How to request? You know what, Bowen? We had him closed for the moment so we could get through the queue, but I think we'll make it. So uh, I'll go ahead and open up a... There you go. The Redeem is open for Bone. Go ahead and shoot it off. And Vinyl Fan, if you're still here and you wanted to give us a Redeem, you can go ahead and do one too. Rystar! Nice choice. I really gotta fix the key bindings on my mister. This is just not right. Dinosaur Planet. Okay, El is real. I'll see if I can get that one on here. I've never played Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, sorry. We had the point redeem turned off because I wasn't sure I would be able to make it through the queue, but I believe we will be able to make it through the queue before I run out of energy tonight. Yoshi's Island. Okay. All right. We got our we got our people who didn't get it before. We're gonna go ahead and we could do one more. Mister, wait, Skeletor, so you already, you didn't get one. Okay, all right. Well, you did get one, didn't you? So you you, you only get one at first. We don't we don't want to have people doing their duplicates until somebody else has gotten a turn. Blast core. All right, good to know. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the redeem now, so I have those for the list. I will edit the list after this game, but we have the clock ticking, so yes, we will continue with Ninja Gaiden. Don't let me forget. No, you're all good. You're all good. The worst case scenario, I may have to stop before we finish, but uh, I think we're good. Mysterious Mirasame Castle is a fun game, but it's very difficult and fast-paced. Oh, I haven't heard of it before. So this is the Ninja Gaiden everybody talks about. I mean, it controls pretty good, especially for its era. I don't like the enemy spawning mechanics, though. The way that they respawn when you go off the edge of the screen and come back is very Mega Man X1. And that is, uh, one of the few things about X1 that is not a compliment. Damn! I cannot be this bad. Oh, I got a speed. I like this guy's walking animation though. He's like ba 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 ba. Look at him go. He's so bouncy. Oh, thanks for the speed. Oh, big speed. Bone. Did you hear that Twitch sent Vine Sauce Vinny to Horny Jail? It's true that Vinny is banned. It's it's tragic. Okay, I don't know how to triangle jump properly in this game. I want to get back up and get that, but I don't think I'm allowed. Oh, timer is running out? Sheesh, I didn't know there was a timer. Oh my god, that's brutal. They want me to plow through all of this that quickly? Yeah, Bignot got banned. He, he he got banned for horny. 
there was a YouTube animator that animated a thing that happened to his stream a few years ago. And there was a slime girl. And the slime girl was wearing panties and a bra. And then it cut to another shot of the other two characters in the animation. And the slime girl's panties and bra landed on their faces. And Vinny got banned for implied nudity. Yes, no, there was nothing shown. It was implied. And he got a week-long ban for that that he appealed and it got down to three days. Oh, thanks for the bork bork, Will Rogers. You're watching it now? No, I think it's stupid. Like that, you could get away with that in a PG-rated movie. Your buddy Slump Neko got godded. Oh no, that sucks. What did they do? There's a shot of the slime girl sucking on a cucumber with a black sensor bar over her boobs. Man, I don't know. That's still, like, barely even bothersome. I don't know, forgive me for talking about stuff a lot this year, or, well, this year, yeah, this is my only stream so far this year, but, man, Twitch's TOS changes are, uh, a nightmare. It's so hard to keep up with what's even allowed. And then you've got these people that are like, Oh, I hate the Twitch thoughts. And it's like, you guys, they're not taking viewers from you. They're not taking revenue from you. They're in their own lane entirely. And they say that their spaces are not for children. Like, more, what more do you want? I don't know. Forgive me for kind of getting the diatribe, but like, jeez. Let people just do their thing in their own lane without complaining about it all the time. Yeah, the haters are are unbelievably common. Uh, Vinny's, Vinny's account is currently suspended, so you won't be able to find him until it's unsuspended. How do I use my ninja magic? I know that's a thing in this game. Damn, he hits like a truck. I like the quonk sound that it makes when I hit him, though. Oh, damn, he's juggling me. There we go! You did play Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Can't decide if it's an underrated game or a piece of shit that will destroy your soul? That sounds like a Ninja Gaiden game, alright. Who are they? They seem to be following me. Who's there? Just a girl. Get out of here. I will, but first... Oh shit, she's got a pistol. Wait, did she shoot him? How is that the beginning of Act 2? Ow. Where? Where am I? I see the- Oh, I see the anesthetic is wearing off. Who are you? Shh, don't make so much noise. I've got a favor to ask of you. Here, take this and escape. What is this? This statue? There's no time to- Oh, I love her mouth. She's just like me, 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 me. I love, I love the lip sync. It's really good. Also, yeah, wow, this is an NES game with just straight up cutscenes. Like, decently translated cutscenes, too. No wonder people were all about it. I, I really love old games with like crappy mouth flappy lip sync animations where they're just like ba 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 ba. I think a really good example of that is Robocop's talking sprite where he's just like ba 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 ba. I think we saw the Robocop game last time we did a request stream. I'm trying to think of other good like blabby talk sprites like that. 
Oh, zero from Mega Man X1. He's like, bop, 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 bop. You ever just bat 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 bat? Ah wah 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 wah. Bark bark. Didn't Star Fox do that too? Oh yeah, Star Fox was like da 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 da. Like that. Wow, so wise. You guys should listen to 16-Bit Digi. She's way smarter than me. How do I get up there? Yeah, their head goes up and their jaw stays- ah, my goodness. Yeah, you should get out of here, Mr. Scientist. This is dangerous. I don't know how to control this. I think I need an actual NES controller to do this right. Using an X-Bone controller is suboptimal. Ooh, orange. Thank you. Oh, that reminds me. I still have some of this Guarana soda. Oh, that's yummy. Damn, that is so yummy. Thanks for the Ultra Ball, Mr. Bone. Bone, how was your New Year's? Yeah, Guarana is just a really delicious flavor, actually. I think the original OG version of Balls still stands as the goat. God, I couldn't get off the freaking ladder! I don't understand what all these powers do. Oh, now I have fire. Is that good? Is that bad? I, I don't know. It's fire. Oh, shit. Okay. That looks pretty good. No, I lost my fire. I have, I have shuriken now. I think I mentioned this chat. I had a conversation yesterday that was partially in Japanese. That felt really cool. I mean, it was it was not a terribly Japanese conversation. I mostly just asked if they knew English and like before that like greeted them, but uh I needed to call the Japanese consulate general's office because I needed information about Yunyu Kakonin Sho, the specific form that I will be using to bring prescriptions into Japan when I visit and you have to call a number that's in Japanese for that and I was able to uh, successfully ask in Japanese if they spoke English and if it was okay if we switched over <laughs> uh, so yeah that felt kind of good We'll stream those Game Boy cartridges which had Nickelodeon episodes on them in like 132p. Oh yeah, the like oh man, what were those called? It wasn't video now, that was its own thing. I know what you're talking about though. God, do you remember hit clips chat? If you remember hit clips, you may you may qualify for an AARP membership. How do I deal with this one jump? How do I... How? Am I too dummy doggy for this? Oh. Wait. Tooth tunes? I think about tooth tunes a lot, actually, Ash. It was a great way to motivate you to sit through your whole... To sit through your whole uh, toothbrushing session. I had one that saying, we will rock you. It uses bone conduction. So that when you stick your toothbrush in your mouth, it plays through your skull, like the codec from Metal Gear Solid. That's right, chat. The codec from Metal Gear Solid uses the same technology as tooth tunes. Why has nobody ever made tooth tunes you can use with Bluetooth? Ah, uh, that's a good question, Skeletorso. I know there's bone induction 
headsets that you can get. Two tunes, but it's the audio from the TikToks you're browsing while you're brushing your teeth. Um, excuse you, Skeletor. I mean, MC Bone. It would clearly be the Subway Surfer game that you're playing on your Oculus Quest 3 as you brush your teeth. Look, there's too many skeletons here. There's not even Vapor Skull here right now either. If we had MC Bone's friend Vapor Skull, we would be at like a critical calcium count. And I would be forced to succumb to my doggy programming and start gnawing on some bones. Up oh, seven seconds. You know, I still feel like I'm playing this better than Richie Koopa would. This one's tough, but I can see myself getting into the groove with it. Well, this was a good suggestion. That was suggested by... Who suggested it? Oh, that one was by Kashardin. Nice. Thank you for the suggestion, Kashardin. I hope you were here to enjoy it. Uh, we're going to move on to our next game. And I'm going to see now. Let's see. Coderman64. Oh, wait, no, sorry. That was Vans. That was Vans, not Kashardin's. I'm sorry. I misread it. Yes, now it's Kashardin's turn with Captain Skyhawk. Is that the Commodore 64 one? This may not be functional. We'll have to see. I don't know if I even have it loaded in here. Let me check. Oh yeah, we don't have many Commodore games. Oh yeah, we'll update the list now. Oh, you don't know if there's a... Alright, we'll, we'll do that then. Kishardin wanted Captain Skyhawk. Alright, so I'll, I'll update things and let you guys watch the Captain Skyhawk thingy while I do that. One moment, please. Now launching Captain Skyhawk. And let's see. Okay, it looks like Doom Guy is right next because Coder Man left. So we're just gonna go ahead and bump Doom Guy up to slot number 10. And Skeletorso is after Doom Guy. Okay, let's see here. Wanna make sure I'm caught up on all that. MC Bone wants Rice Star. And L is real once Dinosaur Planet. Oh, come on. Keep playing the cute music. That was good. Why is it silent now? There we go. And let's see. Vinyl Fan wants Yoshi's Island. And... Owen Wilson Imposter wants... Oh, crap. We're, we're already playing. My bad. Uh, Blast Core. And that's probably going to be as many as we can do tonight. Let me update the list. There we go. Alright, now I'll actually play the game. Timer begins. Whoa, this is pretty cool, though. There's no music. Okay, let's try this properly. I want music though. Hold on. I'm going to make my own. I want it to I want it to be cool. Let's use this. Yeah, no music. That that was an era in video games. Wow, this this perspective is very difficult for me to see properly. There's some amount of depth here, but it's not much.
Yeah, Star Fox music will do. I mean, this is pretty fun, actually, once you get in the groove of it, but it's difficult for me to visually perceive it. I'm struggling a lot with the, uh, the depth. There's an altitude meter there at the bottom. That might help. Oh, wow, you gain and lose height rather quickly. Or rather slowly, rather. This is, this is a lot like Zaxxon. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Zaxxon. But it was a popular early side-scrolling, well, isometric side-scrolling shooter. That was in the arcades and on a bunch of home consoles in the 80s. It was really influential and then people just stopped talking about it. It is so hard to maneuver in this game effectively because I can't tell what the terrain is. Ah! See? I, I can't tell when I'm supposed to be able to move, move over an area. A friend of your parents had a Zaxxon arcade machine. Sick! Damn, that would be such a flex. Sounds really cool. I don't see why there would ever be a time when I'd want to fly lower so far. Whenever I'm flying low, I die even quicker. Sheesh, I can't even see the project- I'm so busy trying to maneuver. See those little gray projectiles? This game would be a lot better if it just had a better color palette. Hold up. Get the list out of here for the moment. See, Jesus! You're so busy trying to dodge everything. Catchy music here, though. Switch there's music in game. No, <laughs> damn it! I wasn't sure if that was enter or go back. Oh, now the the music simply stops looping. It's over. The music is gone. You get one. This is a weird one. Early games were so weird. Yeah, still have 11 minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a journey. But that's that's part of the fun for these. Is sometimes you pick something kind of scuffed and it's like, whoa. Alright. Games have come a long way. Sonic had a rough transition into 3D. Sheesh! Sometimes you pick Metal Gear 2. That was one of the longest 15 minutes of my life. That was a terrible game. Shit! God, what are these, like, Roombas that are going around down there? Sheesh! Oh my goodness. This relentless green. So much green. You cause the stream so much accidental pain. Yeah, but it's memorable pain, so it's funny. Oh, wait, we're doing something now. Something is happening. We've, we've found a boss. And vaporize. Oh, I see. It's got a pattern. Ah! Did 
these little the little blocks that it throws are very difficult to see against the background. It's like really you guys chose green, gray, and orange, and you made the projectiles gray? It's the same color as the plane? Surely they had more colors in this palette to work with. Can't the NES show like a million different blues? Oh for God's sake. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, this is yep. This is this is a game. This is Captain Skyhawk, alright. Whoa! Faux 3D. I hate how you spelled faux and I hate that I knew what you meant. Silly. Ah jeez. Wait, were we playing Solid Snake or Snake's Revenge? We we're playing Snake's Revenge. That was what was requested. Alcohol. Oh, glad you're having fun there, Jimmy. Jimmy, I heard you went to the Oh, Digi, I heard you went to the dark side and played Glover. What the fuck, Koopo? I did. I I got about through the first screen and then I stopped. Just like when I was a kid and rented it from Blockbuster. How's it going, Juker? The opening of Glover is the dark side. It really, it was cursed. Yeah, everything's going pretty good over here, Juker. I had to cancel last night's stream because I had a serious case of, oh my god, too much work. But uh, other than that, pretty good, pretty good. Thanks for stopping in. Chat, you should go follow the Juker. He's very chill. And if you like my request nights, he does it better. Just straight up. Like, the jukebox is just this, but better. Ah! Shit. I do? I mean, of course I do. Yeah, that's right, Juker. And he's so humble, too. Ah, shit. Oh no, you gave a shout-out to Juker instead of the Juker. Who is- who is Juker? I put in my copy of Glover and the sky was blood red. There were weird noises and I suddenly couldn't get the ball to the level exit. Yeah, that's just normal, that's just normal Glover. That is just average Glover. I had to ask the chat, I was like, is this right? I don't remember this. No, it was right. That's just, that's just Glover. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Shit! No! I was doing so good there. Damn it, I couldn't see because of the boy kisser. God damn it, boy kisser. I'm gonna leave you in 2023. You bet. It's kind of chilly, actually. Oh, guys, the weather forecast suggests that I may get snowed in this coming week. If that happens and I still have power and I get to skip work, you better believe we'll have an all-day doggy. I'm going to be stuck inside and I won't have anything else to do. I, I really don't normally like getting stuck inside, but I really need a break. Damn it! What? All day doggy? Well, yeah, that's been the goal, hasn't it? Like, eventually, when I'm when I'm a popular enough doggy, and I can afford to go full time, I'll be on a lot. Hopefully, that's that's the that's the goal. All day streams seem like they'd be exhausting. Well, yeah, but I would take longer breaks to have like meals and stuff. I do it sort of a condensed form now, but eventually, like, if I was doing, like, a 12-hour stream or something, I'd... Are you for reals? 
Stop it. This game, I swear to god. I'll be partner in no time? Thank you, Bone. That's sweet of you to say. Yeah, I, I mean... I've only been doing this for a little bit over a year. I'm very pleased to be where we are, and I'm very, very thankful to all of you for your help in getting me here. If you guys have any ideas on how I could be a better doggy, please don't be shy about letting me know. I feel like I'm not doing enough lately. Ah! Oh, jeez. I'm slowly getting better at this one. Like, this is an interesting one, because... It kind of pisses me off, but in that Nintendo way where it's like, No, I have to get better. I have to do better. Oh, I'm doing great. Thank you, Burt Cake. Also, hi, Burt Cake. I hope you're doing well tonight. Play Prey at some point? I want to, Skeletor, so... I very much want to. Only a year? Yeah, I started in October of 2022. We only had my one year stream anniversary like less than three months ago. I made affiliate in three days. I don't know how I did that. Ah! Damn it! I got smug. I deserve that. I lost all my power ups. Oh, it seems it works better if you go down near the ground for this one. Just got back from a Left 4 Dead 2 LAN party. Yo, that sounds great. That sounds like a wonderful time. Did you have fun? Is this a rare game? I don't know, actually. I don't think so, but I can check. It's called Captain Skyhawk for the NES. Well, it seems like lowering my altitude was actually the trick for this boss. This is way easier now. Left 4 Dead 2 still holds up even if your old gamer skills do not. Oh, I bet I would still be great at Left 4 Dead 2. But not at versus mode. I was never super good at playing the special infected. I get salty. Yo, colors! Finally! Yo, developed by Rare? Sweet! Alright, let's see how far we can get into level 2. This is brutal. But it does have a neat vibe. Whoa, suddenly we're playing Afterburner or like Space Harrier? What the fuck? Why are we suddenly playing Afterburner? This is very different. It's very different and actually very difficult to control. My plane veers away from the target when it's in the middle of the screen. Even more fuh 3D. Oh, you're just messing with me now, Vi uh, Jimmy. I almost called you Vinny. What the fuck? Fuh 3D. Oh my god, Jimmy. Vinny McVickers? That's Jimmy's evil twin from Parallel Universe. He makes animations in Source Filmmaker instead of Blender. And he has a lip ring instead of a nose ring. But otherwise, he's exactly the same. You want me to see the docking section right after this? Ooh! Oh wow, it's like Elite. It's like Elite. Prepare to dock. Okay, I'm prepared. Yeah, I can have little a docking as a treat. I was so well lined up and now I've made a mistake or two. Or six, or eight. This is Captain Skyhawk. Hey, two and three, one, sweet beyond. Where did you learn to fly? I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. This is silly. This is like one of those arcade games. 
This is like key master. Okay, can I do it from this spot or am I too high? Oh my god, this is so picky and finicky. Yo, I did it! All right! Yes! Not too shabby. Well, let's get some uh, cannon, I guess. I have to go from this to the next game anyway, so... Get a Maverick anti-ground missile. Okay. And some Hawk Bombs. Now we'll go to the next mission and blow all of them, just because I want to see it. Yeah, it does look really good for the- I kind of want to try this one more now. Also, th hey there, Theory and Cure. Hope you're doing well tonight. <laughs> I like that it looked like they were blowing up the ship. Alright, I just want to see all my bombs go. Wow, we got good bombs. Okay, well that was fun. Let's move on to our next game. On the list we have... Next up is... Doomguy7419 with Gran Turismo for the PlayStation. Alright, this one's gonna take a minute because I have to load it on there. And we'll have to switch it around. So bear with me. Enjoy some tunes in the meantime. And we will be reconvening very shortly. I have to download this one. I mean, what? We're using my totally legit PlayStation right now, right? Gran Turismo 1. Wait, this is a Japanese version. Okay, we're grabbing that, and I'll go ahead while I'm doing this and also take care of grabbing Perfect Dark. Goodness knows we'll need that. We'll throw those onto the old mister. I'm glad your memory hasn't completely lied to you about that game being fun, even if it's also NES frustrating. Yeah, honestly, it's pretty entertaining. While I wait for this to, uh, to chooch, you know, I think I'll just play a little more of it. Wait, no, I spoke too soon. It's already almost done. Yeah, I'll go ahead and load up Perfect Dark into the machine so that we'll have that later, even though it's not Perfect Dark time yet. Okay, Perfect Dark has now been transferred to the Mister. We will now proceed over to the PlayStation directory. It's so funny how much bigger PlayStation games are than N64 games. It is ridiculous. You can definitely see why developers were feeling the limitations there. Gran Turismo now has its own directory and will be loaded shortly. It's gonna be a big leap in graphics now, no kidding. Let me make sure my PlayStation controller is ready for this one. Hopefully it plays nice, even though it wasn't doing so with the Legends uh, play that we were just doing.
You do hate that YouTube keeps trying to spoil Lethal Company content to you. Yeah, I, I like playing Lethal Company only when I'm playing with other streamers, so I have no idea what's going on. Arwing pilot, please, since I know you got all the medals like a real gamer. Oh, of course, Juker. Sure, no problem. Let me switch over to Star Fox for ya. This is one of my earlier avatars. Maybe sometime we'll see an updated version of it. That would be pretty cool. Pine Tree Noodle, as always, is amazing. And she made a really good avatar, like she always does. So, yes, I am now Star Fox pilot Freya. I am ready to pilot an R-Wing. And I think... Ooh, try hand tracking with this one. Oh, it might be a little scrunkly. Let me see. Hands. Activate. Oh, that actually works pretty well. Look at that. Sweet. <laughs> I like doing the little dance. Okay, let's see. Next up on our list is now... Oh wow, we're still transferring the file for it. Okay. Well, no worries. Uh, it's on its way, Doom Guy. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Dinosaur Planet and Blast Core while we're at it too, so that we can have a nice smooth evening from here on out. I really hope Blast Core works because I have a copy of this that we tried to play previously on the stream, and it was a dead cartridge. Like I was all excited and I made a cool promo and everything, and then oops, game no worky, completely bricked. Not 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 helpful. But uh, yes. Uh, this will be good, I believe. And I'm gonna grab Dinosaur Planet. Dinosaur Planet is a prototype, so it may run slightly messed up. Uh, but we'll see. Just gonna load all of that stuff onto the mister. I believe it is pre-patched, yes. Okay, uh, Gran Turismo is now finished transferring to the Mister. We will return to our N64 directory and finish the fight. Thanks for bearing with me, chat. Blast Core is now loaded. Perfect Dark is now loaded. Dinosaur Planet is now transferring. Ah, uh, this is so nice compared to having to take the SD card out like I used to. That is so handy. Oh, Juker, you're gonna stream Dino Planet once it's fully finished? Wow, are people actually going out of their way to fully finish it? That's dedication. How close to it is, is it to being finished? You could beat it now. Oh, wow. Damn, that's pretty good. Let's see. All right. So now we're going to load up Gran Turismo. Are you prepared? Are you ready, Doom Guy? I hope you are, because it's your turn. Oh, wait. Where the heck is it? I think it's being dumb. Hold on. It might need to reset... It's a uh, directory here. There it is. Am I ready? I don't know. Am I? You ready for the drive of your life? You did miss Captain Skyhawk, I'm afraid, Jake. We just finished with that one. Snack, please work this time. I was so sad when you weren't working before. You beat that as a kid? That was a tough one. I did not get very far in it. There we go. Now we should have a proper cropper. Wait, that's not right. What the frick? Is 
Something isn't right. Oh, it's just letterboxed. I see. Yeah, no, that's normal. Banger alert. Oh, this better not be copyrighted. I bet it is. That's okay. Oh, this one deserves to be scaled up a bit. A pilot Freya looks so happy about copyrighted music. I mean, wouldn't you be? The real driving simulator. Oh man, it's so late 90s, I love it. Gran Turismo games are pure copyright. Well, good to know. We're doomed anyway. Might as well just have fun with it. I just hope that we don't get in trouble. I mean, it sounds great though. If this is my first copyright strike, well, so be it. You can always just mute the audio and play your own music. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably already muted for this part anyway in the VOD. I'll let the I'll let the intro survive and I'll do it from there. You'll be fine? I don't know. I'm skilled. I'm gonna get three copyright strikes from one song. And that's going to be the end of DigiDoggy. <laughs> Keep saying audio jungle and adding A-E-O-U-I? What? Audio jungle? Audio jungle? You streamed hundreds of hours of music and you still have zero? Oh damn. I don't know much about Jerma. I told you guys I didn't watch streaming before I started streaming. I watched the good Jared, who apparently was mentored by the Juker. So really, the Juker, you can thank the Juker for me starting a stream. In some weird abstract way. We'll do a single race. Mostly for unaltered broadcasts of media with no transformation. Wait, so if I watch anime with you guys, but I run it through my VCR? Is that okay? Can, can I, can I do that? Chevy, Honda. Wait, where's Toyota, damn it? I want a Toyota! Fine, I'll go Chevy. Camaro Z28, Corvette, 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 Camaro, Corvette. Where's a fucking Firebird? Damn. So this was supposed to be my first car. This was- the V6 version of this was supposed to be my first car. It was supposed to be pale blue. Like, like, um, about the same color as Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. And my dad ended up giving it to somebody else's dad, who gave it to their kid. And I would have to see it driving around. And I was so salty about it for so long. But I was also staff at a- wait, wait, wait. I could change the color. It was this color. More or less. It was a little lighter than this, but it was about the same. Oh, it's still the same chassis. Pontiac and Chevy are the same thing. It's the same engine. And the same body. And the same interior, mostly. But, uh, yeah, this was supposed to be my first. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that. Hmm. 
Well, yeah, but don't tell anyone that. I was staff at an F-body show for 10 years. For GM F-bodies, which specifically is Camaros and Firebirds only. So, I, I am a little bit opinionated about F-bodies in particular. I'm just glad the controller is working now. Ford Fox Body is your favorite. See, you know what Ford stands for. Stands for Fix It Again, Tony. Oh yeah, Kyle would be playing this, wouldn't he? I think I walked in when he was playing that. Yeah, L is Real is everywhere on Twitch and knows about all the people that I know about. And wow, this is kind of loud. Um, yeah, this Camaro is ready for the scrap heap already. Fix it again, Tony. Yes, I know that's Fiat. It's a King of the Hill bit. Actually stands for Found on Road Dead. Yep, this is how a Camaro would turn, all right. Yeah, Kyle's a cool dude. I think I liked him better when he was called Kyle TX500. I don't know if Janked Jesus is as catchy to me, but I still think he's a cool dude. And I also see why he would call himself that, because he does he do he do be looking like a drawing of Jesus. Yeah, he's still just Kyle to me. Joker, why did you go with that name? Were you like really all about the Joker at one point and you're like, yeah, I'm I'm like the Joker, but more Jewish. I really want to know the origin of this name, because it feels like something you must have come up with a long time ago. He's just the Jewish Joker. The origin is very boring. Well, come on, Boris, then. Trust me, that is not the origin. Well, don't leave us hanging. Also, wow, I failed. I was in last place. But that's kind of what you would expect with a Camaro versus a bunch of, like, you know, Japanese supercars. Yeah, it was terrible. I'll do better. Oh. You had a butt in high school. And he was like, you did things so Jewishly. What are you, the Juker? That's it? Wow, I'm underwhelmed. I thought it would be something more, like, notorious or funny or cringe. Yeah, I'm gonna switch a different- I'm gonna use a different car. That's not a good car for that. Wow. Simple origin. You heard it went nice ring. My mom had one of these. We know she didn't. She had a Diamante. You guys ever heard of the Mitsubishi Diamante? Nobody has. But there was a guy down the street that had one of these in white and everybody claimed that he was super sketchy. And I always think of it as like the dirt bag car now because that guy was a dirt bag. All right, let's get an NSX then. Everybody wants the NSX. I already have to put up with the Moogle calling me J-Man. I mean, you kind of created that monster yourself. You did. By having an E in your name, you, you forced him to come up with something cringe. Yeah. Juker created Rich.
Yeah, Rich was unable to say Juker because it has an E in it. And he was doing his no E stream. So he called him J-Man. And Juker was like, never call me that again. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh god! Oh no! <laughs> Let's try that again. How dare he call me such a cringe nickname, BWL. The Juker has a hack blood charge. Ah, uh, this thing has a lot more squirrely handling than the Camaro did. Ah, jeez, I did the same thing. How do you jungle? I mean, if it gets muted, whatever. It's not like anybody watches my VODs anyway. Oh, did I say that? Oh, you do? Well, shit. All right, then. I guess I guess we're muting it and we're doing this, then. You're the only person who watches VODs. Aw, Juker. I'll keep posting them, then. You know what? This this works. The damage is already done. Is it? ASMR digi doggy. You feel bad that you never watch you never post bods out of laziness. You've got some real bangers going on in your stream too there, Ompico. Alright, I think this one needs to uh this one is too squirrely for me. Now we can hear the popcorn really crunch. God, watching Rich do no E streams is so funny because he can't think of any words that have more than five letters when he does it. It's pitiful. He won't even use conjugations. He won't use the word and. Rich thinks so slow. I was like, hi Rich, I'll do a funny trick. I'll say a lot without using bad word. See, that wasn't even that hard. There was no ease in that. There was no ease in that and it was no problem. Bad symbol. That's that's what I was using, right? Oh wow, this one handles much better. Oh god, well our our fellow track mates are not being so nice though. Spun me out good. Well, we've already lost the race, just lost the race, just lost, just lost, just lost the race. But I'll finish it out this time. At least we'll get to see the track instead of me just restarting over and over. When you asked him to say the name of the game, he didn't even go with Imtroid. I feel like he'd just call it Samus Game. What did he call it? Wait, game! Shit! That has E. If you did the E stream, you would win first try without using an E. Imtroid Prim! Everybody's favorite. Supa! Oh, that would be a good one. Supa Samus. Sp 
special. That's still got an E. Yes, this is a Supra. Supa Mari Bose. Wait, you could say bros. Oh, thank you so much for the resub, Space Jace. Wow, two months Digito already? Five, nice, nice. Digito 5 nice, nice, right back at you. Thank you, thank you. Also, I like how the text to speech says it like Vegito. Digito. Digito 5 nice, nice. Would an S stream be harder? God, yeah, it would. That would be really difficult. E is the most used... Well, no, maybe not. E is the most used letter in the English language. And there's silent E's way more than there's silent S's. Well, that was a fun outing with Gran Turismo 1. Thank you for your suggestion there. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed me playing it, Doom Guy. Sorry we had to kind of get nervous about the music there. But now it's Skeletorso's turn for Perfect Dark on the Nintendo 64. Well, this one will be really interesting to see if it works. It'll be this will this will be a challenge for the little N64 core, I think. But uh, let me go ahead and switch over to a different controller and we'll get started. Oh, wait a minute, it's actually break time. Uh, we're gonna go take a quick breather. When we get back in five minutes, there will be more Digi Doggy, more wonderful Mr. FPS Night, and more user selected fun games. Oh, you had Kyle play this yesterday. He really enjoyed it and is interested in buying a copy of it. Uh, L, I know where to find a copy of that very easily. So I could hook Kyle up, probably. But yeah. Go brush your teeth or get a soda or whatever, and we'll we'll see you in five minutes with the few remaining requests for the evening, including Perfect Dark, Rystar, Dinosaur Planet, Yoshi's Island, and Blastcore. See you soon, everybody, right here on DigiDoggy. in the world holds two that's incredible this is gonna sound weird and it is you're a demon no a me demon. But really, I'm not. Come on, Lupon. We both know it's you, Pon. <laughs> How dare you, Lupon? Take it back. Take it back now, y'all.
Welcome back, everybody. I'm DigiDoggy, your favorite dog-shaped robot corgi girl. Hope you guys had a good break. I certainly did. We're going to hop back in with some more Mr. FPGA community night tonight. Hope you guys have been enjoying being in charge of what doggy plays. I've been having a lot of fun. I would not have played most of these if you guys had not suggested these. You really want to get a Mr. Juker? It is so good. And I can teach you how to control it remotely from your OBS. And oh my goodness, Jackal Pop Hat is here. Hello, Jackal. Perfect Dark is one of the few FPS games you actually like. Oh yeah, it's it's a pretty cool one. It's very unique. Uh, we're going to go ahead and launch that, actually. Next up, per Skeletorso's request, let's see the current queue. Before we continue, here's, here's what we're looking at, chat. This is our remaining list for the moment. Oh man, that contrast, that is that is brutal. But as you can see, Skeletorso is next, followed by MC Bone with Rystar, L is Real with Dinosaur Planet, Vinyl Fan with Yoshi's Island, and then finally, Illegal Owen Wilson Imposter with Blast Core. So let's get going. I think I have Perfect Dark loaded up, so we should be ready to go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's perfect. That's dark. That's perfect dark. Switch it over to a proper snack input. So we're using a real N64 pad. Why the big hurry? Uh-oh. I think I stepped on it. I have too many controllers, chat. There are four controllers in here. Digi, can you turn the brightness up? This game's really dark, BWL. Yeah, it's perfectly dark, though. I like it this way. 
Where the frick? There's too many controllers, chat! This is the downside of using real controllers. Alright. Joanna Dark. I don't understand. Huh? Oh, I heard, uh-oh, I stepped on and you were braced for another digi blood loss event. Thankfully not tonight. Wait, why are we copying? What? What is going on with this? So select location, where spaces, what? You hit delete? I hit keep hitting Yeah, I know, but Look, I'm pretty i I'm gonna press start. Are we gonna call it a night? Okay, vinyl fan, you have a good night then. Yeah, okay, so I hit again. Look, chat, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit start. I'm gonna navigate over to okay. I'm gonna hit start. And then it goes to this. It says where spaces. And it says delete files or cancel. I guess it's expecting a memory card? This is weird. Okay, let's try that. This is really weird. I don't think this is correct. I don't think this is working properly. I know this should work. I've seen people saying it does. Not sure what's happening here. Well, shoot. I'm not sure, chat. Let's try resetting. Okay, so it detects the expansion pack. It does it does seem to be doing what it should. Controller is responsive. I don't understand. I don't understand. This is so weird. It's like it's... I don't know if this is like an anti-piracy thing or what. Where spaces? This does not make sense. I don't know, chat. Yeah, I tried restarting the mister. Well, it seems to be expecting a control pack. Well, that's the thing is like, I mean, I do have a physical one somewhere, but we can emulate that. We can forcibly. Try C down. That just navigates. It's looking for one of player one's controller. Peach Weasel, can you go into the bin of N64 stuff and bring me a control pack then? Yeah, this is weird. Actually, yes, dark. Dark. This is very strange. Let's see if attaching a real control pack to this- wow. Slightly corroded controller here. Uh, that might rectify some things. This is so strange. Oi, bleen indeed. 
Can we restart the timer once we get- Skeletor, so let's even get in the game. If it gets to be 15 minutes or whatever, and I, I mean, there's only so much I can do. I don't want to be up all night trying to play this one specific game. Sorry, I know that's disappointing, but also, like, I was not expecting this to be a problem. I think Peach Weasel is looking around for a controller pack at the moment. It's so weird that you can copy. But there's nothing to copy. It does not need a memory. No, it's okay, Skeletor, so you don't have to apologize. Just, wow, I'm sorry that this is, uh... I know you were waiting for your thing, and this is not what I wanted to give you. Just not a VTuber stream until there's tech issues. That's right, Jackal. Gotta have some kind of scuff. We're having too smooth of an evening. This is really odd, though. I've never seen a, an N64 game doing this. Got a rumble pack, and that's it down here. I know we have a transfer pack. What are you talking about? Let me go look in my bin then. Hold on, chat. Hey, there's something. All right, I found a third party memory card. Uh, let's see if this works. What the fuck, Koopo? All right, let me, uh, actually, let's see. I'm gonna guess that it's an EEPROM 16 because of the way that it works. Okay, let's, uh, let's restart it. If we can get it working, then we'll reset the timer on it. But otherwise, we might have to just keep on moving to the next thing. Now we have a silly thing sticking out the back of my controller. Damaged controller pack? Huh? Damaged? Can we try using it without? Hey, that somehow fixed it. Okay. All right, that's fine. Let's do this. Uh, it's fine. We'll get our we'll get our timer reset for this. Sorry about that, chat. Turns out even a damage controller pack is still enough to uh to get us where we need to be. Welcome to the Carrington Institute, everybody. What the fuck? Oh, right. So weird. It's been a long time. It's good to see you. Come with me. I'll walk you around the training rooms. You used to pretend you were reloading a gun whenever you put a memory card in the back of a controller. Same with the Dreamcast controllers. Honestly, Jackal, I still do that with like remotes and stuff. Yeah, it must mean that it's corrupt. It's probably got a corrupt save on it. And it's probably just trying to format it and redo it. Why is this so smooth? That's a good question. Looks really good though. Good, good job on the N64 core there. See, this would be a nightmare to play without the the Gold Knight, without the N64 controller. The control scheme for this game is very weird, but if you know how to play Gold Knight, you can play this game really well. In here we have the device lab. You love the diegetic HUD? Hello. I have a diegetic HUD too. Look, look right there. Yeah, no, this game looks good. It really does. This is a big step up from Goldeneye. Oh, 
Oh, it works well on a dual analog controller? Really? Oh yeah, because you could do two controllers. Like Richie Koopa. Game gets pretty BS. Yeah, that's rare for you. It's like that in Goldeneye as well. Trying to do the later levels, like the, the secret levels in Goldeneye. Ugh. I don't know if you guys ever played the Aztec mission on double-O agent mode. That's not a fun combination of things. You can disarm 90% of the enemies in the first level. Ooh. You set high res mode. Let's find out. Whoa, what does that do? Oh, fixed video blanks. Oh, I see. And turn off texture filtering. And turn everything off. Yeah, it looks like we can't really improve things, but we can turn things off. Oh, and the perfect dark settings. Sheesh! What the fuck? I didn't know that was a thing. Perfect Dark, you're almost a PC game on N64. You're so weird. I love you. Yeah, this is like almost Deus Ex levels of... Ooh, look at the fake lens flare. That's so good. Yeah, we got a we got a simulated expansion pack, so we get the nicer graphics. Let's leave. Oh, we can't. We're trapped in here. You'd be down to see more of Perfect Dark on future streams. Yeah, well, I was thinking about using the uh, mouse aim hack. Whoa, I forgot this exists. Uh, I was going to use the mouse aim hack to play it like I did with Goldeneye. And I try out the frame counter. There you go. Does not seem to be functioning at the moment. You didn't know you could pilot this? You could pilot things in, in Goldeneye, even. You thought you could just move it around? You didn't try mashing near it? I don't remember how to get off, actually. Here we go. Yeah, just, just go up to it and press B. Yeah, mostly tanks in Goldeneye. They did want to have a motorcycle, but they couldn't do it. so weird to hear the same sound font as Goldeneye like this. Oh, that's a turret. Oh, we're in a shooting range, aren't we? A year before Halo. That's so weird to think about. What a shame. It feels like the gap between this and Halo was huge. But I think that's just because I was a little, little kid at the time and every year felt like a big deal. Like, the, the gap between 1998 and 2000 feels huge. Because I was very young. And it was a huge portion of my life at the time. But then you look at all the games that came out during that time and it's like, whoa. Gosh. Video games were really going at breakneck pace from like 1995 to 2002 or so. Like, every year was just revolutions and bangers what you stuff that i don't even remember a lot of it but no we didn't hit the pause menu fine we'll do a solo mission yeah the n64 was really cool when it was new i remember seeing a playstation for the first time and being like what the heck is this PlayStation? What? 
I did not like the face buttons being shapes instead of letters. That really bothered me when it was new. Hiya! Thanks for the for the hiya there, Pharisees. Chat, this is this is like advanced reflexes to be able to control this like this after so long. Forget how to do the uh, alternate fires. Oh yeah, they reused a bunch of- Hey, it's England Hat with the raid! Welcome, welcome, Hat! Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much, but- Wait a minute, what the heck? Raidvirus.exe? What? What the frick? Hat, don't you have Norton already? Come on. Let's- let's get real here, you- England Hat, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a fun time on your stream. Everybody, Hat's been a long time friend and oh my goodness, called with the resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know where the sound for it went. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry about that. But thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Call F4 for that resub. Thank you for 15 months of support. What were you getting up to there, Hat? It's so good to see ya. HTTPS colon slash slash subvirus dot exe. Don't go to that website. Ah! Did you just kill the crane? Burkina, did you just kill the crane? Oh my goodness. How? What? You mad lad. You killed the claw. It's over! You finally freed me! Thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness, guys. Thank you so much. Alright, let's uh, let's go ahead and hop back into our Mr. Community Night already in progress. Thank you for your patience, everybody. Let's go. Yeah, you earned it. I'm living in a box. Living in a cardboard box. How do I alt fire again? I'll do alt fire. I don't remember how to alt fire. Hold B. Ah, oh, there we go. My gun. My gun. He tried to pull out another one. He shouldn't have done that. Alec Trevelyan. Uh, there's no sheen bean right now. Oh, shit. I forgot that was broken. Jimmy, you know better. You, you're you the one that discovered that. Silly. Hold on. There, that'll sort of... Nope. I'm gonna have to figure out why that's broken. That was not broken before. It's okay, Jimmy. Just gonna have to deal with that. Man, something messed up when I switched to OBS 30. I finally updated after waiting like a month and a half. I was scared and then I did it and it seemed okay, but now there's a couple little weird things. Oh yeah, I don't have to place the jammer. Okay. I do not remember. I barely played this game. Oh, light switch. Hey, Digi, did you know tomorrow is January 7th? Yeah! Mega Man drops January 7th! 
I was never book smart. I'm money smart. Make me more intelligent. It's actually today in EST. Whoa, Mega Man drops today? j Easy finally dropped, bro. What is this guy doing? What is he doing here? What is this? If you hit them while they have their hands up, they aren't technically dead. Oh, that's an alarm? He was just kind of looking at it like, oh, maybe I should press this. No, this level's a little bit disorienting. Oh, this game doesn't have a non-lethal counter. Oh, there's grunt when you hit them on the floor. That's funny, though. Are the faces of the guards here rare, like in Goldeneye? Yeah, some of them are even re uh, recycled from the previous one. Give me your gun! Wait, does he have a flashlight? Oh, he gave me another gun. This is very funny. This is the optimal way to play this game. I like the pew 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 pew. It's a very pew pew gun. Alright, now all these poor bastards. Are you guys ready for the kind of death you've earned yourselves? Yes! Did he say you shot me? I was only doing my job? He was trying to kill me! That's his job? I have a right! Yeah, they are. It's a very goofy looking game. It was cool in 2000, though. What are you doing, bro? Yeah, it does feel pretty good for an N64 game. It's weird because they have, like, a lot of GoldenEye type behaviors, but they're more advanced. So, like, you can be a GoldenEye knower and just kind of, like, thrive. But then they do something that surprises you, and you're like, uh-oh. Yep, over 20 years old now. Sheesh. Well, I don't think anybody would argue with you. This one definitely looks its age. Max Payne was 2001? Oh, sheesh. Ugh, where's that gif of Solid Snake aging really quickly? Ugh. Hate that. I can't believe you'd shoot a guy just for doing his job at the murder factory. If he ain't dying, I am lying. There's someone here. <laughs> I like that his gun just popped out of him. Roblox was 30 years ago. You know, it's messed up. Roblox is actually old as hell, though. Like, Roblox was around in 2006. Minecraft came out in 1989. That's right, it was the end of the Showa era in Japan. Yeah, I distinctly remember playing Roblox in the early 2000s and thinking, wow, this kind of sucks. You play this game so many times you always still get lost in this level. Yeah, it turns out maybe making multiple nearly identical floors in an area with clear walls is disorienting to most people. Just a thought. Wait, that's gonna take me up. I don't wanna go up. I wanna go down. Wait, no, they're both- oh, great. Return to Infiniminer. Hey, Dylan. Long time no see. Hope you're doing well tonight. I feel like people kind of forgot that Infiniminer existed. Yeah, this is not the way out on either side here. Yeah, I feel like most people haven't heard the name Infiniminer in years. I 
One of the elevators goes down, but they both come from the up. This is just gonna go up. Oh, timer's up whenever I wanted to switch. Oh, you're right, I forgot. Yeah, misters are cool, but that 4K60 calls to you. Well, I mean, 4K60 what? Like a retro tank 4K? Cause those are amazing, but you could use them in conjunction with each other. All right, I'll get through this area or die trying and then we'll switch. Ah, uh, dramatic. Hey, Dragon Rider 393 how's it going? How you been? Thanks for stopping in. We're having a community night. The chat has selected the games that I'm playing this evening. And we're about to switch over, but I was playing some Perfect Dark. It took a little doing. We're using the Mr. FPGA, and it did not want to actually start until I stuck a real Nintendo 64 controller into it. With a real, but slightly corrupted transfer pack. And for some reason, that was able to make it work. Hope you're having a wonderful evening, though. Oh yeah, there is a native source port of uh, Perfect Dark for the PC. It's really good. I would probably play that. Yeah, we're doing a Mr. Night, so it's all Mr. at the moment. Forget how to get out. We're so close to the exit. Just walk around pressing B against every wall. One of these things is a door. Just break the window and leave. Yep, we're all we're just playing with the Mr. FPGA tonight. It's been uh it's been an entertaining time. So uh yeah. We're just kind of flexing that Mr. Core and seeing what the N64 version uh, looks like with the Mr. Amongst other things. But uh, yeah, I don't know where it is. So we have already run out the timer for this one. We will continue on to our next game, which according to our list is... Oh, Zesty L Galaxy. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Hope you're having a wonderful evening tonight. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Gonna pull up our list here. Okay, so that was perfect dark for Skeletor, so thank you for waiting, everybody. Sorry that was a little bumpy. Now it is MC Bones' turn with Rystar for the Genesis. Gonna go ahead and pull that one up really quickly. If you play Duke Nukem 3D, you a fanboy. Whoa, I'm so happy to receive this information. All right, Rystar, the shooting star. Maybe you can look for some games to suggest sometimes. Heck yeah. We'd love to see it. We will definitely be doing more request nights. All bottoms must proceed to the platform. You should play Duke Nukem 3D? Oh, Jace, yes you should. Oh, I'm going to switch back to being a normal doggy. Thank you for that redeem, Juker. We will now switch back to being Neo Freya. Man, that's that's a sweet intro. Ah, uh, Bone might have gone to bed. That's okay if that's the case. No, he's still here. We're all good. Yeah, Duke Nukem was voiced by Big the Cat. Man, Rystar is cool. Rystar has a different intro between the US and Japanese versions. Oh, I didn't know that. with me 
Whoa, this styling is very Sonic teamy. Looks a little bit like the uh, level cards from Knuckles Chaotix, of all things. Man, this looks great. He's gonna grab you with those arms. Yo, Richie Koopo, welcome! Oh my goodness, it's Richie Koopo with the Richie Raid! Welcome, welcome. We are having a Mr. Community Night. Thank you so much for joining us, Raiders. Fuck Spelunker indeed. Yes, I had to play that earlier tonight. It was bad. Uh, thank you for joining us, Rich, you wild Moogle friend of ours. Hope you're having a lovely evening. The stench of Moogle is here. Kustinky. Ah, crap. Oh, crap. I think we just lost our opportunity to go the, the good route there. How's it going, Rich? What were you getting up to? Did you have a good time? Oh, Liza P is really good. Yeah, I saw Joker playing that one, and, and he said it was really good, too. You tricked Rich into doing a boss the wrong way in Liza Kupussy? Oh, you would, Joker. Did you did you get him to fight the clown? Oh, cool game. Thank you for the gift sub for Zesty L Galaxy. Oh, enjoy your free sub there, Zesty. No ads for you. Not to the Clissy yet. That's later. Oh, Rich will have fun with that. Why did you make me say Clissy? I thought we were friends. Jake. He fought the boss in the stinky swamp water of the factory, and he was easy to bait into not draining the swamp. Oh, Rich. Did I give the N64 chorus bin? I did! It's been really cool. We played Glover, which is Glover. Uh, we played Perfect Dark, which we just finished before you came in here. We were also playing with a uh, ROM hack of Smash 64, which was really fun, and I want to play it with you. Um, hi again, Allison. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for rejoining us. Uh, yeah, the N64 core has been very good. Is there a PS2 core? Uh, I'm afraid not, L. The, the, the greatest extent of the DE10 Nano is the fifth generation of consoles. So, N64, PlayStation 1, Sega Saturn. That's about as advanced as you'll see this get with this version of the Mr. Now, maybe someday there will be a better FPGA in the future that can do it, but honestly, it's impressive that we even get the, the N64. People said that was going to be impossible. Yeah, the N64 is a small miracle. Yes, we do have Saturn Core functionality. Maybe PSP could be done, but I kind of doubt it. The PSP is actually more powerful than the N64 or the PlayStation 1. So it would be a pretty tight fit. Hold tight while grabbing pull. Oh, hold right while- okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, the N64 is currently using about 90% of the Mr.'s power. And they're trying to get it down by a few percent so that there's some wiggle room. You want an FPGA that at least does PlayStation 2, GameCube, Dreamcast, and Xbox. Not being able to emulate those is a pain. Yeah, that's gonna be a long time in the future, though. The complexity of that generation of consoles is so much greater than this generation. And, and then again, like, it's exponentially more complicated than the N64, even. So it's going to be a long time before we see an FPGA that's affordable that we could do that with. Yeah, PS2 clocked at 300 megahertz. Even a big FPGA would have trouble with that. Yeah, if you wanted to buy like a really expensive FPGA... The thing is, the Mister is actually built on an educational, like, teaching FPGA. It's like a... A Raspberry Pi, basically. But yeah, we'll probably get there eventually. The will exists. Somebody will do it. Yeah, it's gonna take some doing. 
Yeah, they do. The, the whack-a-mole boss is pretty popular style. How do you know it was already suggested? Oh, we pull out the list every once in a while. There you go. I don't keep it up all the time because it, it blocks the game, but when people want to know, there you go. Also, we got his ass. The thing is, the, the, the whole FPGA emulation thing, it's difficult. And then when you start thinking about proprietary chips in each of these consoles, it gets harder and harder because you got to emulate each one of those chips. So that's going to mean that some engineer will need to pull apart a PlayStation 2 and actually decap the processor. So the, oops, the emotion engine that the PlayStation 2 had that was such a big deal. Uh, they'll have to physically find out how that works on an electronic level. So they need like a... Fancy, fancy, fancy setup. A clean room. Oscilloscopes and a lot of time and energy. Oh yeah, no, the Retroid Pockets are really good, actually. I had a Retroid Pocket, too. It's not cycle accurate, but you could definitely play a lot of fun stuff on the go. It'd be a really good choice for a plane flight. Especially if you're not willing to go for, like, a Steam Deck or whatever. Yeah, the dev for the PS1 core is just straight up a genius. Yeah, we got star power. This music is kind of busy. I understand the style they're going for, but it doesn't translate so well to a Genesis sound. Yeah, the N64 core's original goal was, can we get one game to run before Christmas of 2023? Now 99% of them are running. FPGA Azum Spass, or whatever his name is, is an actual, literal genius. Oops, why did I do that? Wait, there's a lever up there for me. Can you tell I've never played this? I really want to get back up there, but I don't think I'm able. Wait, the, the Retroid 4 Pro does PS2 and GameCube at two times native at 60 FPS? That's fantastic. Damn. Really good. Although for 200 bucks, I'd be tempted to spend another 150 and get a Steam Deck. Which can do those things as well. A Retroid Pocket, that's right. Oh, you heading out, Moonstorm? Alright, you have a good night. Thanks for keeping us company. I finally worked it out, Bone. It took me a second. Whoa, it's a bagworm. You feel skeptical that people are decapping the silicon to make these cores? But Sweebium, I'm literally friends with Vertec, one of the primary, like, most prolific Mr. developers. He's a furry, and he posts video and pictures of him decapping these things. Like, it happens. I've seen it. Have to head back out to work. Okay, be safe there, pine trees. Stay warm. Yeah, no, the mister is a, is a work of true love. And there are really people actually out there doing the electrical engineering work. Your extra layer today, good pine tree. Please be safe. Mars SP FPGA is announcing to try to take on the Dreamcast? Yo! Having Dreamcast preserved like that would be super cool. Honestly, the thing that I want to see the most for the Mister right now is I want like a X band sort of thing. You guys know about the Super Nintendo X band modem? Where they made a modem for the Super Nintendo at the time, 
that allowed you to play your games remotely with other people over the phone lines and it just cloned their inputs to your system. So your system didn't care, like it didn't know, but like you were still playing online multiplayer with a Super Nintendo. I want to see somebody do that, but with a mister using broadband. I want our misters to send packets at each other, sending their, their multiplayer data, basically, so that any couch co-op game could be played multiplayer over the internet. Like, I want to play multiplayer mister with Rich. Just get Nintendo Switch Online. Why don't you get Nintendo Switch Online? But yeah, if somebody could come up with a way to fake LAN our misters together so that streamers could play multiplayer with them, that would be so cool. And yeah, BS to Teleview is also really cool. I'm fascinated with that. I feel like you could emulate Satellaview these days if you had the right data. Like, enthusiasts could make a pirate radio station that simulates the Satellaview signal. Yeah, you can emulate it, make a private broadcast server. See? Somebody already did it, of course. I want to launch a private satellite. We gotta do it from an actual satellite. Then we really have Satellaview at home. We'll launch one of those little microsats. And it'll just be for Satellaview. What do you think, chat? All you know about Satellaview is Radical Dreamers. I know about BSX Zelda and BS Mario. I should see if I can find a Satellaview when I'm in Japan. The modems for them are still kicking around at used game stores, even though they're not useful anymore. It would be very useless, but it'd be cool to have. Just like a wow, there it is. Yeah, a lot of lost media on Satellaview. Hypnomancy, thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a good night. Look it up your FPGA kit. It has an extremely similar chip, but only three quarters the logic elements. What FPGA do you have? Oh, you should have requested Plock? God, Plock. Whoa, I didn't know I could vector myself in the air like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, Rystar, get up there. God, jeez. Are you know what you're requesting next time? Is it Plock? If you play Duke Nukem 3D, you a fanboy. Oh, I'm so happy to receive this information. Thanks, Duke. Oi, Bleen. I want to make this jump really bad. Rystar for Smash? Honestly? That would be pretty good. It is the 2020s, and it is still time for Clax. I knew somebody was going to bring up Clax, and I don't know how. Yeah, Rich, you're kind of a fanboy, though. You have a Pizza Hut maid outfit, and you sound like that. And you wear, like, biker shorts. Like bicycle shorts. You wear spats. I'm sorry, Rich. You are a fimboy. This is like Hantome saying, I'm not cute. Like, yeah, no, I'm sorry, but you are. Yeah, you, they all thought you were me. They thought you were a girl when you were screaming in Lethal Company. My muffled screams were the same pitches as yours. Yeah, Hantame is cute. Oh, you know about Hantame. Good. 
Nanachi Hantame is an up-and-coming VTuber. You should check her out. She stays up way too late at night. Yeah, first try. Totally. You follow as well? Oh, Corgi, we know you do. Corgi loves every VTuber. And we love Corgi. Yay, we beat the level right as the time runs out. You met her during your marathon stream. Yeah, Hatsume also did a streamathon that was like literally over 60 days long. It was insane. Crazy, crazy Hatsume. Well, that was Rystar. Thank you for the wonderful suggestion. I enjoyed that a lot, MC Bone. I hope you enjoyed watching me be bad at it. <laughs> I might want to try that one out again sometime. Oh yeah, no, VTubing got me into watching streams. I didn't, I didn't really do much of this before then. Still suffering from sleep deprivation. Uh-oh, Ella's real. Well, I hope you got it in you for one more game. Because it's your turn. It is now time for Dinosaur Planet. I sure hope this one works. Gonna need a different cue here. Hold on. PlayStation. No. In 64. Yes. Bird up. It's time to bird up. Okay, everybody. Here we go with Dinosaur Planet. Let me make sure in 64 controller it's hooked up. Dolby Surround. How does it work? Magic and magnets, of course. This is what could have been Star Fox Adventures. Your snack adapter doesn't dispense snacks. You want a refund? Too bad. I'm going to explode instead. Oh, what? Oh my god. There's a debug menu that I unintentionally activated and does do not know how to... Ah, that's not what I wanted. How do I get out? Oh god, it's so broken. There. That'll do it. No, I, pre I pressed right on the... D-pad. And it opened up the debug menu. Digidog is accidentally too skilled at accessing the debug tools. Well, I mean, I do still remember the debug code for Sonic 2. Let's try that properly. You would love this build? Where can I get it? Allison, and it's on CD Romance. Just search for Dinosaur Planet. Yeah, I can tell it's pretty quiet. I'm just waiting to see if the actual gameplay is quiet, because, uh... This is one of those things that can be deceptive. Greetings! Uh... Is it supposed to do that? I don't think this is behaving correctly. I don't think this is functional. Let me try pulling out the transfer pack so it's not freaking out. You saw Saber's icon on the save file. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Over. Repeat last transmission. Send doggy to Spain without the A. Wouldn't that be Spain? Uh oh. I think I froze it. 
yes, I'm going to have to deal with some jank here. This is an unreleased game. I think I did what it's supposed to do, but I'm not sure it was functional. Oh, wow. Oh my god, it, it's recognizable. I played the GoldenEye version of this game. I mean, not the Gold the GameCube version of this game. GoldenEye version, dumb doggy. Is there supposed to be voice acting? I've had a garbled message from the wizard. Oh god, it's Estelle Ellis. Mountain, hidden within a storm. Oh my god, it's Estelle Ellis and she's all messed up sounding. Why he thinks Princess Kite will be out here, I don't know. Oh right, it's supposed to be Crystal. It's so weird. Oh my god. All right, let's let's just do it properly. This is kind of amazing anyway. Does this make Saber a Fimboy? Yes, he played too much Duke Nukem. Oh, thanks for the slime, Rich. God, this this pterodactyl looks like complete ass. Hidden within a storm. Why he thinks Princess Kite will be out here? I don't yeah, know. we we love Estelle Ellis. She's wonderful. Oh my God, this is so incomplete in sixty four game vibes right now. It's unbelievable. Hiya! Also, wow, General Scales' ship is supposed to animate. That's kind of gross. I don't like that its face can animate like that. Oh, we have control. And the camera's very weird. Well, I remember this from Star Fox 64. And they really did just kind of put a new coat of paint on it while keeping it the same. But this does look really good for the N64. Try shooting the cannon. Steer fax temperatures. Making the Mr. Core cry. I think this would have made an N64 cry. Finish him. Blast the head. I love these placeholder audios. He did- he did talk in Dinosaur Planet on the GameCube. But he sounds kind of like a, a cartoon parrot! Kyo gets gets Kyo Kozoa Palace! Tell the Queen, I'll bring her daughter back to Cloudrunner Fortress! Oh, Estelle, we love you, but you're definitely shouting into a mic. Oh yeah, this is pretty different already. There's shark claws on the ship. This is a shark claw. Tap or hold the Z button to lock the camera onto him. Press the A button to hit him with your staff. Press B to dodge. Yeah, Star Fox Adventures fake language is straight up cringe. Like, no lie. Also, wow, this is some placeholder audio. Yeah, this would be good in a lost or beta game stream. No sound effects during cutscenes. You picked up a magic gem. They come in many different sizes and are used to power magic spells. Just walk over them to collect. Keep a lookout out as they are not only found on baddies. Oh my god, her eyes move as textures. She doesn't have eye models. Her textures just animate. 
Also, wow, there's there's just not much sound in this. There's very little sound. You're not missing much. There's normally a lot more sound. I guess the N64 core is not having a good time with that. Now, hold up. Nope, that didn't seem to have any meaningful effects. I thought perhaps we could fix it, but alas. Keep in mind, the Mr.'s N64 core was not even expected to be able to run any games by the end of 2023. Yeah, this is this is the limits for the Mr. Yeah, I'm shocked this is running too. Yeah, it is crazy that we actually got this leaked. Oh, it's General Scales. Here he is. General Scales. Ruler, tyrant, and dictator of the Shopclaw tribe. And who might you be, animal girl? You sound like somebody in a voice Crystal, chat. And I've come for the princess. You seem a long way from home. Princess. Crystal. I can't believe the wizard asked a girl to do his dirty work. Lido Tum Savuk General Scales. Let's just say we had a nice little chat, and he's agreed to take a rest for a while. He sounds like one of the I Conquer voice the actors. You coward Is this the guy that plays Birdie in Conquer's you. Bad Fur Day? Ah, yes, Princess Kite, your mother. Once I've dealt with this animal, I think that's then Birdie. We'll pay your mother a visit. That's Birdie. A <laughs> nice try. But you'll have to kill me before you can save the princess. That's fucking Birdie from Conquer's Bad Fur Day. I guarantee it. <laughs> he has the same <laughs> as like Symphony of the Night Dracula. He just left. He hit the bricks. I'm okay, I think. Who are you? Now how do we steer the ship? Oh, title drop? I guess? Good night, Peaches. What do you think, guys? Would you fund this one? This game looks familiar. You forgot what the name of this one is. This is Dinosaur Planet. It eventually became Star Fox Adventures on the GameCube. You'd like to see a spiritual successor to this? You could be like Ukulele and just call it Crystal Saber. I don't like it. I don't like how it wiggles. It looks like livestock. It is? You think it's a cow? Oh, we got Steve Brand and Sean Reed. Yeah, that's a cow. Yeah, this was Rare's last game, basically. You don't think any N64 game had mo capped animations? Wait, didn't they though? Greetings! Greetings. I could have sworn that I've seen mo cap footage for some N64 games. Because they put people in those ping pong ball suits back then. Oh, Viva Piñata, aka why why there's so many post tagged Piñata on E621. Whoa, what the fuck? We just had a crash handler. Oh my goodness. 
Shit. Uh, whoa. I think we killed the mister. Holy shit. Wait, no, we killed the N64. This is N64. That's incredible. Okay, so the mister is still responsive. It's fine. This is the N64 crashing. Or the emulator, I guess. But that's that's so cool. You know what? Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Yes. Yeah, Duper was crazy for trying this. But also props to Duper. Um... I'm going to go ahead and say that we finished that here. I don't think we can recover from that in a graceful enough way to justify it for one more minute. Uh, that was a fun little excursion. We should try more beta unreleased stuff in the future. I'm going to go ahead and set us up for our next game in the list, though. So thank you for that suggestion. L is real. L is real, we have completed your suggestion of Dinosaur Planet. Thank you for that interesting excursion into some strange places. Let me go ahead and prepare for Yoshi's Island. Vinyl fan, did you go to bed? Vinyl fan 91, your request is next. It is now Yoshi's Island time. So if you're still with us, I hope you're ready. Yeah, Duper is in the llama. He did try to play Dinosaur Planet live. Well, they're still in the chat, so that's good enough for me. We are almost done. We will give them their chance to... I love Yoshi's Island. There's no reason not to. Oh, but I will switch over to my Super Nintendo controller for this one. Okay, N64 controller has been disengaged. Is this PAL? Uh, I guess so. I guess I guess it would be if I'm can if I'm able to select it. I can force it. I can force it. I can force it to be NTSC. Hopefully, no. We can't force it, and it's going to be 50 FPS. It's going to be weird. That's really funny, though. Piracy detected. You have been a naughty doggy. No, no, no treat for you. Go straight to the bad doggy jail. Snack equals yes. You know, the Nintendo HQ is really close to me. They could send their assassination squad at a moment's notice. Game pack fuckery detected to the creepy pasta dimension. You know, I'll get the I'll get the NTSC version because this is gonna bother me. This will legitimately bother me. That is not the right tempo. That is not okay. It's too slow. This will be super quick to set up though. No worries. I love having a direct network connection to my mister. It takes me longer to find the damn directory than it does to load it. I get this stuck in my head a lot. 
Ah, it's so off tempo though that like the little difference between 60 and 50 FPS is killing me. We gotta get this right. It's gonna it's gonna bother me. <laughs> Alright, we'll get it in here. It is loading. It is now loaded. Amazing. So like the Yoshi song from the N64 version? Oh, you mean, ah, rah, 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 ah. I don't like that one as much. I will be real. You had to live with this? Oh, oh, Jackal, I'm so sorry. Also, I didn't know you were British. That explains why you're up at hours when I'm going to work. That, that makes a lot of sense. This will be better. Oh my god, you can already tell. Alright, timer's running. I'm just gonna let this, uh, I'm gonna let it play a little bit though, because you need to hear the difference. Yeah, most Commodore 64 games were made for PAL and translated badly to NTSC. The same for Amiga games. Jackal, did you have to grow up with, with like, Egg Dizzy? Super super world dizzy or whatever. Are you heading to bed, Jimmy? Have a good night. Thank you for sticking with us. God, you can hear the tempo is so much better. Yeah, I could just jam out to this one forever, honestly. Yeah, it's such a good track. All right, we'll actually play the game now. Yeah, this one is same as the uh, the port to the to the Game Boy Advance. Jackal, did you watch Robot Wars when you were a kid? I once went on a trip to Florida with my family and we stayed at a little resort and there was a British boy that was there and I was able to bond with him because we had a conversation in the swimming pool about how much we liked Robot Wars. Watched a little Robot Wars, but you weren't a huge fan. Oh, fair enough. Also, sorry if I'm skipping the text. I played this one a bunch. I had the strategy guide for this one, and it told me that in Japan, Yoshi is called Yossi. It's still pronounced the same, but they were going to spell it Y-O-S-S-Y. Yossi. Because there's not really a she. Like, Japan doesn't really... The S-Y versus S-H-I, it doesn't really make a difference to Japan because they're still going to say she. Does Yossi imply the existence of Jossie? I, I don't know. What the hell is Jossie? You always preferred Scrap Heap Challenge. Did you like destroy, build, destroy on fucking Cartoon Network's negative, terrible, dumb live action era? Juicy. Juicy? No! No! Chat. 
Go to jail. All you remember of Robot Wars is wondering why the hell that smeghead Dave Lister was hosting a game show? <laughs> oh, is he not a good dude? I just thought they had the cool house robots. It made it more entertaining than battle bots. Because they had these like OP robots that would come out and just wreck all the contenders. Hot take, I like the timing on this better than the just actually being able to aim it in Yoshi's story. We stopped watching Cartoon Network when the live action era hit. Yeah, don't blame you, that sucked. It was not a good era for Cartoon Network. I have been wanting to put together a pirate TV network on my Discord. Oh, the host of Robot Wars was a guy from a sitcom called Red Dwarf. I've heard about Red Dwarf. Random weird British sci-fi nerds get way too excited about Red Dwarf. Even though as far as I can tell, Red Dwarf is just like Star Trek but British and cringe. Sorry if I upset any Red Dwarf fans in the audience. All one of you. That's kind of the idea of it, really. You've upset the British. This is fine. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Jackal Company excluded, I do kind of enjoy teasing the Brits sometimes. But Jackal's a sweet bean, so so we let, we let Jackal do his thing. All bottoms must proceed to the platform. That's- that's a jackal joke. That's just for jackal. You guys should really go check out jackal's streams, though. Despite me accidentally calling him a coyote, he is a good jackal. And he's really, really skilled at putting his model into games, and... That honestly just never gets old. I'll sit there mesmerized for hours and I'm like, oh shit. I've been watching this jackal beat Sora for like, five hours. Yay! Bonus! You do make fun of us Yanks a lot, yeah. You wish somebody could put a model of your avatar into games. It is, it is an amazing feeling, L. I know there are people on Twitter that take commissions for that kind of thing, and I've thought about it. Alright, where are we scratching? Chat, you get to decide. All right, so I'm gonna give you numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. What we scratching? Four? Okay, we're starting with four. That's a good pick, chat. We already get one one up. All right, now, one through seven, except for four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Oh, it's a toady. Shit. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, we've got- alright, so we gotta vote for three from Nemesis Warlock. Hey, not bad. Got two up. Not bad at all, chat. Thanks. Alright, watch out for falling rocks. This is the area where all of the bad D&D DMs send their players when they're sick of their shit. Woohoo! That was close. Not today, Satan! Okay, maybe today after all. Stop! You hated this level as a kid? This one used to scare me. This is one of my earliest impressions of Yoshi's Island. So Yoshi's Island was like a holy grail game for me when I was little. 
my friend down the street had it and we would play it while we were waiting for the bus. I don't know why we were able to... I don't remember why, actually. That's really weird now that I think about it. Why were we sitting in his house waiting for the bus? Whatever. Anyway, he would play it and... Can you tell I was a tomboy growing up? I was, I was always hanging out with the neighborhood boys. Um... He would play it, and I wanted it really bad, but it was, like, expensive and hard to get. But this level, I remember him playing, and I was just like, ah, that's that's really scary. The sound they make that, like, meow! That, and I was fascinated with Nep. The, you know, Nep-e-nut? The, like, blue blob thing that comes out of the water? We just called him Nep. I thought Nep was great. I used to draw him in the margins at school. The final boss of this game was scary, like straight up. It was like creepy pasta shit. The scary music, the big scary silhouette, the glowing eyes, like yeah, nah. I don't blame you for being scared there. You, you were sort of similar for you too. You think you got to play it like twice and you kind of revered what little you played. Yeah, that's the thing about like kids don't understand what makes a game good. But when they play a good game and it's not theirs, they like fixate on it. That's how it was for me with Metal Gear Solid 1 as well. I played it a little bit at my mom's work because her colleague was playing it and I was hooked. I had to know more. Yeah, it was that was a stressful fight. The Bowser fight at the end of this game is, is scary. What were your holy grail games when you were a kid's chat? The game that your friend always had and you really wanted to play it but you never could? Or you never got to as much as you wanted to but you really liked it? At the risk of getting suggestive, the transformation stuff became a fixation. Uh, uh, same hat. <laughs> oh, Super Mario RPG, yeah. I was fixated on Super Mario RPG because we kept renting this copy from the local store. And eventually I got to own that copy. I really wish I knew what happened to that cartridge. I really wish I knew where my Mario cartridge was. Oh, Mega Man Battle Network 3. Huh. Did you get to play it on the bus or something when your friend had it? Alright, who got into Tia from Yoshi's Island? Oh, look at him, he's so excited about it. He makes a good face. He's like, yeah, I like that. Oh, the question was, your gaming holy grail when you were a kid. That thing that your friend had that you only got to play a little bit, but you were absolutely fixated on it and you wanted to play more. You always thought, oh, I bet it tingles. Ooh. Well, it makes such a proud fanfare when he does it too. He seems happy about it. I can see why you'd be like, ooh. Look at that face! He's like, yes! If you're counting relatives, I count that. Then Link's Awakening. You had it, or your cousin had it, but you didn't. And you always wanted to play more of it? Hey, that works. I think for me it was... My friends tended to have a bunch of cool games. This one friend, the friend that actually introduced me to Mega Man X, really. Oh, wait, no, one of my best friends in kindergarten had the combination of Mario All Stars and Mario World in one cartridge. That was that was a really cool cartridge. I had both games and I still wanted that cartridge. Some weird religious newsletter said The Legend of Zelda was de demonic, so your dad banned it. You got to play a little of Ocarina and you loved it so much. Oh, Owen, I'm sorry. That sucks. But also Pine Tree was like that too. She didn't get to play Zelda until Breath of the Wild. Like, she had, she had experienced zero Zeldas. Oh, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Shit, that reminds me. I always wanted a Pokemon Pikachu too. The Pocket Pikachu. 
And later on, I wanted uh, Pokemon Soul Silver. My friend in school had a Poke Walker. It did make updates to Mario World a little bit. I think there was patches. Also, wow, I got a good score on that level for doing that, like, half brainlet. I was not paying attention. You can tell I like Yoshi's Island. Alright, chat. One through seven. Pick them quick. Em. We're almost done with this one. One. Five. And six. Okay. We got him. One Toady. One Mario. And another Toady. You know what? It's better than nothing. And either way, Yoshi gets to be consigned to the void after this. 20 seconds of Yoshi remaining. Touch fuzzy. Get dizzy. Total annihilation! Yes, Dylan! I had a neighbor kid that had that and I was fascinated with it. Total annihilation still hits. I want to play the Total Annihilation cam uh, campaign. I've never done that. All right. That was our Yoshi's Island outing for the night. Thank you for requesting that one. I believe that was requested by VinylFan91. Thank you for that request. We are now going to move on to what I believe will be the last request for the evening because I'm, I'm a tired doggy. We have Yakuza tomorrow. So we're going to go to Illegal Owen Wilson Imposter's request of Blast Core. Let's go ahead and get the N64 controller hooked back up, though. Alright, Blast Core. Oh, thank you for the head pats, Durasu. Oh man, Blast Core is fun. I used to love renting this one. Time to get moving. Yeah, there's a lot of rare games on the N64 that we played tonight. That is true. They're good for it. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oh no, not the C4! Alright, chat. Let's hope this works. Oh no! Bomb has been diffused. Oh no! Is it not functioning? Owen oh, Wilson. If this one doesn't work, do you want a mulligan game? If it doesn't work, you have a backup SNES suggestion? That works too. Or another N64 game, whatever. Also, thanks for the Spain! Ah, uh, chat, it's not looking good for this one. We may still have some compatibility issues for the N64 core. Arrow Gauge N64. What the heck is Arrow Gauge? Arrow Gauge. I've never heard of this one. But I will grab it. We will do it. And it'll be great. Thanks for being a good sport about it. I apologize for the technical difficulties, but after all, we were here to find out what the Mr. Can and can't do. Now loading. Arrow gauge. Wait, shit, I put it in the wrong folder. Damn it, that's gonna be a pain in the butt to get out. It's okay. We'll fix that later. Turon? Turon? Turon! 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 Thanks for that Turon there, Corgi. Alright, N64, let's do it. Arrow gauge. Ooh! That's a strong first impression. I like that. I was like, threat warning. 
That was cool. Dude, this is sick. Why have I never heard of this? All right, let's go for it. A strong first impression. Look at this UI. Yo, what the hell? This is so cool. Okay, we'll do we'll do Grand Prix mode. Oh my God, it's like F Zero, but but mixed with Redline. What? This is fucking awesome! Where were you all my life? Oh my god! Uh, I'm gonna take this one- it, Does that say RAR Junkie on the side? Oh, Power Jungle. Yo, look at this UI! Also, thanks for the follow, Elizreal. This UI is so sick, I need to show this to an artist. And be like, do this for my stream. <laughs> Ayumi, Power Jungle, Audio Jungle. Ready, set, go. Dude, it looks great. It sounds good. What the hell? We have F Zero at home. I don't know if you guys saw my new stream schedule, but I was trying to go for a little bit of this vibe. I didn't quite do it. But man, this is inspired. Whoa! Physics! Shit, are you real? Oh my god! What? There's a Z-axis? What? Oh my god! This is fucking awesome! What? There's not other racers that I'm seeing, but I'm... Whoa! This is so cool. This is called Arrow Gauge. Yo! Little hidden gem. It's like the perfect midway point between Star Wars Episode 1 Pod Racer and F Zero. Oh my goodness. Ah, shit! Oh, well. Yep, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, thanks for the lurk, Denny. We appreciate you keeping us company. The color palette for this is so appealing. It's a really colorful N64 racing game. Like it's got that sort of like realistic palette. It's not super poppy cartoony, but they have a lot of contrast. Oh, there's a pit. Oh, you have a pit stop. Oh, there's more mechanics here that I haven't discovered. It's- it's Wipeout meets F-Zero! Shit, that's awesome! Nice! I wanna see if I can do a match with other people. Oh god, Gollum. Wow, these all have different vibes to them. I like this one. Ooh! Oh, that looks good. I, I really dig this. Ready, set, oh, I wish there was other opponents to race against, though. Looks like it's just a time trial type thing. Man, that would be the thing. That would be the GOAT if it had opponents. Whoa, shit! Sharp turns. Whoa, this one is way more challenging. Yeah, the UI does have that Evangelion look to it. Which, to be fair, Evangelion's UIs are really cool. This is by far the hardest map. Oh, I can tell. But this is cool. This is so different from other racers on the system. Even other, like, sci-fi, cyberpunky racers, like Extreme G. I dig this. 
I kind of want to take some b-roll of this just for the aesthetic. Like, this one would look cool on like a little monitor in the corner of my screen. The fact that there's like divergent paths you can choose and everything too. Oh, you do race against other players if I don't back out. Oh! Oh, I was doing a qualifier race, huh? Whoa, damn, this is- ah, 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 ah. Too many choices. This is freaking cool. Oh, I love that the little air brakes come out of them when they're turning. Eesh! Oh, jeez. This runs great on the N64 Mr. Core as well. Not seeing any frame drops or pop-in that wouldn't be there already. CPU is a little unforgiving, but it's still a vibe. I'd have to see. Oop, 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 oop. Man, if this isn't what it's like when I'm in Shinjuku, what even is the point? I love these designs. These vehicles are so cool. Oh damn, you weren't kidding, they are off. I am well behind already. Well, maybe the CPU will get tripped up by these turns too. Shit, nope, that's not the tr that's not happening. Wait, are we getting like ambient audio of stuff that we're passing by? Well, wow, turning feels really good in this game. Even if I've lost, like, yeah. It's just, it's just kinesthetically very pleasing to play this. Ooh, I didn't crash. That's the best I can hope for right now is getting a little better every time. Oh, that's the pit. Oh. I was wondering where the pit was on this map. Yeah, Extreme G wishes. Then again, Extreme G did have weapons. Oh, you think your favorite map is called Neon Arena? You know, we'll retire and go there. I want to see it before our timer runs out. We were not going to win. Let's try another machine. I do really like this one. This one's really cool. But I want to try this one. Neo Arena. You'd love to see this on a future stream? It looks so dope. Yeah, I don't know if I could make a full stream out of it, but I'd like to spend more time with it. God, I love the UI so much. I love the little skeleton face when you get to your maximum damage. Whoa, this one flies really different than the previous one. Wait, is that an ASCII wear? Oh my god, did you see the ASCII wear logo, guys? I am literally my, my SNES controller that I was using earlier. Wait. Ah, fuck. I didn't want to do that. Uh, the ASCII wear logo there. I was using an ASCII wear controller for my Super Nintendo. Future racing night. Ooh, maybe we could. Oh wait, you could skip the qualifier and just go straight to the- Oh my god. How do they just leave like that so quickly? How come their acceleration off the line is so much better than me? But look on the right, you'll see an ASCII wear logo. That's cool. That's a cool little bit of product placement. ASCII wear makes made in the past really good controllers. Controllers that last 30 plus years. I 
I'm an ASCIIWare controller for my Super Nintendo that I've had since before I was born. And I have an ASCIIWare controller for my PlayStation that's still really good. Oh, we're catching up! Whoa, we're drafting! Whoa, Jesus! Oh my god. Let's catch up. I think we can make something happen. I want to catch up and be at least in seven. We saw the back of, an, uh, of another dude for a little bit there, so it's got to be possible. Final lap. All right, we got past one of them. Wait, oh no! He was lapping us, actually. Ooh, this music is tense. It's really interesting having this with so much space for you to race in. You can go up and down, you can go side to side, there's different routes. It really does give that, in that way, an episode one racer vibe, which everybody who's played that game loves that game, even if they hate the Star Wars prequels. I think there's like drift boosts like in Mario Kart. Oh, I would have to learn so many mechanics. I do see that there's like a... Oh, it's my view display. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. Go slower when adhered to a surface. Oh, safe but slower, fast but risky. Shoot, I wanna go for another. I wanna win at least one of these. Last place, baby. I'm good at racing. I do really like how all these cars look. Do I like shoot 'em ups? I do. I beat you and Squadron on stream really early on. Let's try the Avenger. Get the feeling this one won't be very agile. Well, this is the last map remaining. Yeah, arcade machine with the sickest control scheme. Yeah, that arcade machine is legend. Oh, this one is a- oh, it's a boat. This one is really slow. Holy cow, it's got some physics to it though. This map is a little bit confusing. Also, the music sounds like Mega Man X music. It sounds like X2. God, that- that is wild. The tube thing? They knew what they were doing. That was a striking visual. Why is illegal Owen Wilson imposter always got the cool suggestions? Oh, you know who I haven't seen in a while? I hope they're okay. I haven't seen Super Knack 64 DX in a while. Yeah, no, this is really impressive, like on a on a this looks like it should be on the PlayStation, which was always known for being a little more powerful. And for having lots of games like this. Whoa, cool sound that it's making in here. I like that all the ships have different engine noises. A secret path behind the waterfall? Yo, going behind a waterfall is always based in any video game. Let's go. Yes, all right. There damn well better be a secret path back there. Well, I'm not going to win any records with this brick, but it is pretty fun. Yeah, I actually streamed behind a waterfall. That's right, Juker. It's okay. What? They just left me! They just leave. If there is some kind of Mario Kart, like- Oh, wait! Hold up! I found a button that does something. Whoa! Just 
start boost mechanic. Yeah, I was trying to hit it right when it said go, but I guess that wasn't it. There's a sharp turn mechanic. There's a sharp turn mechanic. You hold Z and you can pinwheel like that. That's what I need to get good at. I'm learning. So it takes a lot of your speed, but if you learn how to use it right, I bet you can get really good with it. Oh, yo, it's Mr. Cool. Yo, Mr. Cool VT, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. I'm DigiDoggy, your favorite dog-shaped robot Corgi Girl. We were just about to finish up with my Mr. FPGA request night, but it's so good to see ya. Hope you're doing well. Guys, please call follow Mr. Cool. Mr. Cool is wonderful, very chill, very fun vibes, really cool and stylish overlay, just a great variety retro streamer, and a friend of the channel. And also Mr. Cool taught me how to do my audio better, so thank you for that, Cool. Yep, I just ate all my speed there, but look at how far ahead of me they are. There's no point, we're just gonna finish out the race anyway. Nobody likes a quitter. You're gonna do a funny raid message and then you realize it made no sense. What was it, cool? Confuse me. Bamboozle me. Leave me going, huh? What? Namika? He also has better than just mid hands. I mean, if you say so. Shit, I am so far behind that they're gonna lap me. You're building Legos tonight, so you're gonna make a Rock Raiders pun out of context, but you realize it was just weird? I mean, I do love Rock Raiders, but I would have been confused. Well, that was Arrow Gauge. Illegal Owen Wilson imposter, that was a really cool one. Thank you for that suggestion. I have had a tremendously fun time tonight playing the Mr. Games that you suggested, chat. But now, unfortunately, it's time for me to start thinking about wrapping up. So, if you guys have any raid suggestions... Oh, how do I spell that FPGA developer? Um, it's FPG Aegemspass. Let me... A Aegemspass, here. Like that. Can we suggest the sleep game? You can. I may not be able to play that one very well, but I'll definitely try. All right. So that has been very fun. Upside down mat. Okay. All right. Anybody else got any other suggestions before I go ahead and make that selection? We're going to go ahead and start the credits. Thank you, everybody, for being here tonight. Thank you for being a part of my Digi Doggy stream. I stream every weekend in the Pacific evenings. Oh, Lilith mode. Maybe. Possibly. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do the credits first. Oh, Spout! Oh, we gotta do Spout. We gotta, we gotta say hi to Spout. Yes, we love Spout. We love all of our viewers and we want to thank everybody who came out tonight. Thank you so much for supporting me, DigiDoggy, your favorite dog-shaped robot corgi girl. Hop into my Discord using this link in the chat or down below in the bio. Thank you to Ella's is real 1996 Hypno Hypnomancy, Zesty Galaxy, and Jesse Cloudtail for the follows. Thank you to Durgan Silek, Jimmy McThickus, Real Slavic Bear, Cool Game 17, The Space Chase, Cult F4, and Zesty Galaxy for the subs. Thank you to Doc Dr Dredmore and Doomguy7419 for the bits. And thank you to Richie Kupo, England Hat, Mr. Cool VT, Retro Hazard, and The Space Chase for those wonderful raids. Thought I said Vertex. Uh, oh, you might be thinking of Furtech. You're thinking of Furtech. That's that's a different person. Azum Spass made the N64 core. Fur Furtech made a bunch of the other ones. But yes, thank you so much for being here tonight. My raid message is going to be DigiDoggy loves you with whatever your favorite DigiDoggy emotes are. Thank you for the stream. Thank you for being here, everybody. You're wonderful. You're excellent. You're amazing. And we're going to be here tomorrow night playing... Yakuza Zero. It's going to be really fun. We're going to continue our Shinjuku Sundays. For now, let's go say hi to Spout. 
With DigiDoggy Loves You, using all your favorite stream emotes. Just pepper them in there, whichever ones you like. If you got sub emotes, great. If not, go for your follower emotes. But either way, please be safe. Have a wonderful evening. And we'll see you next time right here on DigiDoggy. We'll be back tomorrow evening. It'll be so much fun. And after that, well, stay tuned. You can find my stream promos and schedules on my social medias or in my Discord. All right, everybody. We're going to raid in on Spout now. You have a wonderful night. Please be safe. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, everybody. Till next time, this has been DigiDoggy signing off. Thank you so much for everything. You're all wonderful. I love you so much that I might just explode. Bye. Bye-bye now. Bye. Night, everybody. Good night. Bye-bye. See you next time.